Are we live? Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't awkward. <laughs> Welcome, Frames Per Second Podcast. Thank you all for being here. Um, we're going to be doing a couple things to, to today. <laughs> One of them. <laughs> well, we know. We're going to be reviewing uh, the newest film, Monkey Man. Before we get into that, because I got to get myself situated, Nay's going to do some roses. No. I'm hey, not. Nay. <laughs> Wait, there's no roses? I thought the you said roses there were. are part of the second segment, right, yeah. producer? Yeah. That's, we, he literally said that right before we started. <laughs> you ain't got to do all that. <laughs> all right, so I guess we're just going to go into the review. Uh, all right, so, Monkey Man. Wait, hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Uh, Monkey Man. <laughs> you had the chance to host this shit. I told y'all you I want to go be good at it. Anyway, uh, Monkey Man. This is the directorial debut from Dev Patel. Uh, I'm not sure if y'all are familiar with Dev or not, but uh, y'all probably remember him from Green Knight. But um, I've actually loved this man since he was Anwar on Skins, Skins UK. I've talked about the show many times. I'm sure nobody here has taken my recommendation to watch it. That's okay. But he was also in Chappie. He was in Lion. He's a great actor. Is it was Skins before um, Slumdog Millionaire? Yes. Hmm. Yes, it was mm. right before. Wow. It was right before. Um, but yeah. So, really quick, I'm going to go around the room. Oh, and I didn't introduce nobody, did I? I'm Mike. That hey, is Ken. Us. That is me. That's Rod. And that is Nay. And behind the board, we got Jalen. All right, so, Ken, what did you think of the Monkey Man? Uh, I kind of didn't. Um, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't think I'm feeling it. Damn, you're not feeling the monkey. Yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't think I'm feeling <laughs> the monkey. Feeling the bro, monkey. I'm like not touching that. any any monkeys, bro. <laughs> no diddy. I, <laughs> no I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, mm. I don't know. It's like it's like it's, it's almost like I didn't like it. I didn't hate it. It's just like. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. All right. Rod, were you feeling the monkey? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Rod, did you like this movie? I'm, I'm with Ken. I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. Like it's I'm still processing this. Still processing. Huh? Okay. I'm still right. processing like what I watched. I don't right. know. I don't know, man. It's 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 weird for me, man. I I I'll, I'll get into it, but I, I don't know, man. I I don't know what to expect with this movie. Be Interesting. Quite yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, Nay, yeah. did you like Monkey Man? Yes, this was fun as fuck. Mm. I I really enjoyed this. I mean, it wasn't like a stuff like it's not gonna win no Academy Awards or nothing, but I enjoyed this. Mm. So yeah, I'm with Nay. Y'all are tripping. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I really don't. Mm. But I thought this movie was great. I thought it was a lot of fun. I think Dev Patel's directorial debut yes. was fucking out of this world mm. for it's, him. That this being his first time, yeah, incredible. It did feel like a debut, but that's not necessarily a knock. Like it, it worked, it, but it still it was it was still really good to say this is your first time out the gate. Yes. I mean, yeah, that's that's fine. I mean, I didn't know that information. That I didn't know that. I don't think I realized that. But um, so I'm, I'm I don't know if that's helping you guys' excitement for this. But no, for me, no it was a oh, good movie, whether right. it was his debut or not. It was so a really a good, good fucking movie. movie. Yes, this was, it was a an really good movie. movie. Hey, 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 took it up, bro. The excellent I'm, now. Yeah, I'm. Not, I'm wondering what the hell y'all missed. I, I, I'm wondering uh, what the hell I missed too. Me okay, too. so we yeah, gonna get into too, it. Me too. Me too. We're yeah, gonna get into it exactly. Um, and just so y'all know, this Yikes. would be a, a condensed review. We don't have time to go super deep like we normally do, but we're gonna try to do what we can. So it starts off with the story of Hanuman. Real quick, Nay, what did you think of the story of Hanuman? And were you familiar with Hanuman prior? I was not familiar with Hanuman prior. I'm not really familiar. I'm a, familiar with a few Hindu gods and things, but not this one. Um, I, I figured that this was going to kind of be a theme throughout. So I was curious to see how it was going to play throughout the rest of the movie. Rod, are you familiar with Hanuman the Monkey Man? No, maybe that was the problem. No, it wasn't the problem. But, okay, so okay. that that wasn't the problem. I don't that, think that, so. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it, I, I got that that was probably you know that's what we started, and mm -hmm. you know it had something to do with the story, but I, I just I don't know. It just didn't mean anything to me. 
Okay, Ken, yeah. what did you think about the story of Hanuman that they tell us at the very I beginning of the movie? I don't know anything about this monkey, man. Y'all ass showed up late. I know it. Y'all on CP time. That's I was there. Confused. I showed up right on time because I thought yeah. somebody was in my damn seat. <laughs> but I wish a motherfucker would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's showing him a monkey, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Next, <laughs> you fucking idiot. Next, we get Bobby, or at least that's what he says his name is. We don't actually end up finding out what his real name is, but he calls himself Bobby. He's a fighter operating as a monkey man who kind of gets paid as, to be this sort of villain in this underground fighting arena. But we see that he's trying to infiltrate this kind of club called Kings. What did you think of the process that he used to work his way into the club? Rod, I'll start with you. Uh, you're talking about with the kids and all that? All of that. I thought that was cool. I did think that that was cool. Okay. But that's it. All right. Nay, what did you think? <laughs> that's it, bro. No, yeah, I thought it was cool. I like the musical <laughs> selection. I thought it was, it was a really cool way to kind of um, showcase, like, the gritty, kind of dirty underworld of India and and just the way all of that con stuff works like that's so yeah all of that you works. can't leave nay i'm sorry i can't and, do it uh, by myself <laughs> i can't be here yeah, by myself I thought, with this I thought shit it was, i thought it was a good way to kind of set the stage for where where we're supposed to be I, you said yes. you like the mute like jid and run nigga run yes, yes. I thought it worked out beautifully, oh, especially you thought, you what they were racist. doing. You thought it was racist. It just didn't seem they right people there. Too. Yeah, what you, what, you really thought it was racist. You thought it was too on the nose. I won't say. I think so. I won't say racist, but I, I don't know. Just the Jid run nigga run thing. I don't know, man. I, I just it just it just didn't seem to connect. I see how it was supposed to, but huh. no, nah, it, it didn't connect for me. Oh wow, that Ken. didn't connect for me. Ken, what did you think? I thought that was. I thought that was cool. I thought that was dope. Interesting that he um, used them kids to uh, get his way into the club. All right. So, uh, <laughs> oh, I missed it. All right. You good? Yeah. Um, I thought that oh, that's entire. Why you the ibuprofen. You felt oh, it coming. Oh, <laughs> damn. Damn. Yeah, the wind did change. That's you know, how old people are. But yeah, I did think that that whole sequence was super well done with the kids up into him going into the office and talking to Queenie. I thought all of that shit was really, 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 really well done. Why? Especially because we didn't know what the hell was happening and I was automatically intrigued. Okay. We so didn't know why he was trying to do this. We just knew that he was trying to get in here for some sort of reason. And I thought that the way they did it with the kids and then he's just sitting back like like the fucking gang leader gets a little shit. All right. I thought that was just really dope. It's child exploitation. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> but at least right. never mind. I don't know. Anyways. Um... So then we're introduced to Alfonso, who's kind of like their, I don't even know what you would call him, but um, what did y'all think of how he started working with Alfonso, how he worked his way into being like... That was the one with the gimp leg. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what happened to his leg, but yeah. That, you say that they chopped it off. So you can say gimp, but you can't you say can, I wasn't going to say that. Uh -huh. You're not supposed to, no. but I was going <laughs> to... I'm just saying. It's her last day, Rod. Wow. She can show up late for the last day. She can leave early. I wasn't going to say I'm anything. Just saying, I'm just but yes, saying. that was the guy with the handicapped leg. But um, yeah, what did y'all think of how he worked his way into working with Alfonso? I'm going to start with Nay, because Ken's still in pain. <laughs> no, um... <laughs> I didn't really think too much of him, to be quite honest, at first. I thought mm -hmm. he was maybe supposed to be some sort of comic relief. I wasn't too thrilled with him at first. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, um, his character wasn't super big in the grand scheme of the film. It, just, it was just his way of getting the kid or Bobby MacGuffin. or whoever. Yeah, not a MacGuffin <laughs> necessarily, but just kind of to get him where he needed to be. So, I mean, his character was pretty was a, kind of a standard character. I didn't think too much of him. I think his character was actually needed. Um, he he broke up the kind of I don't know like cause cause the main character he just was eh, he was kind of dull to me like he didn't really have much character to me so when he came on scene I was like all right cool you know he he, he broke it up a little bit he had a lot of personality he had a lot of personality Slum Dog didn't have much personality in this his name's Bobby uh, Ken sorry sorry to Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Same. No, I, I, I liked him. I agree with what Rod said. He definitely uh, mm -hmm. added to it, uh, mm -hmm. you know, a different tone. Mm -hmm. He's very energetic and stuff. You know, he walked around acting like he belonged. And then later on, we found out he really didn't. 
You know, so, but yeah, yeah. And I think it was a way for him to befriend him and work his way into the upper ranks. Well, I liked Alfonso a lot. I did at first think he was comic relief until they were driving around in Nicki Minaj. And I liked the conversation that they had in the car where uh, Alfonso was talking about how the rich people look at them and they say, like, they don't even see us. They mm -hmm. live up there. Yeah. We live down here and they don't even really pay attention to us or see us. Um, but at this point, we're starting to see flashbacks to what looks like people getting slaughtered. Mm -hmm. um, were y'all intrigued by this or was it kind of annoying? The fuck is that? I was. It was good to kind of get, um, you know, at least tell us why he's doing what he's doing. We knew eventually it was going to come, but, mm -hmm. you know, now we get some, uh, re you know, we, we get his motives. You know, mm -hmm. we start to get hints of uh, what he's after and why he wants revenge. Hmm. Rod? Uh, um, yeah, I mean, to me, it's just like a typical revenge story, man. I don't know. Like, it just, it just felt like, just felt like a, a John Wick to me. Oh my God. Felt like a John it Wick It did feel me. like they were trying to do some John Wick. Like we're going to get there, but me. that is probably <laughs> my most hated critique of this film. Oh, people are saying because that? Because y'all yeah. act like John Wick was the first fucking revenge film to ever Well, that's made. the one that, that sticks out to but me. I, he's I, in I a, get it. He's oh, in no, it's not the first I one. I get it. Because he's in a suit. But that's, it's that's like what, nobody can do a revenge film now because everybody's like, not saying y'all are doing this, but everybody's like, damn, it's, it's a like John they Wick ripoff. It in the movie. They right, was like, like I get know this shit out the way and shut up. That's what they're doing. Like, stop. Get this shit out the way and let's move on. Don't put him in a suit. Don't put him in a monkey suit. Nay. Did he have on a monkey suit? What was the question? <laughs> what did you... Um, they call him... The, the flashbacks? <laughs> yeah, what, were, you, were you intrigued by the flashbacks? The flashbacks to me were... Um, I don't want to say the weakest part of the story, but it is part of what made it feel like a debut and kind of cliche to me. Mm -hmm. Because, yes, it is... Yes, we've all seen vengeance stories before, but the way that they inserted it and, like, slowly gave us more and more and more as if we were supposed to be really flabbergasted once we got the full story is part of what made this feel like a debut to me. Well, and, and the, the flashbacks kind of related a little bit to what they were saying in the car, you know, about their place mm -hmm. in, in, that, in, that, in that city. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with Nate. I wasn't in love with the flashbacks. I thought they were almost annoying because they were breaking them up so much. Mm -hmm. I would have almost rather, y'all maybe just do it twice, but they did it like four or five, six times. And it was like, all right, dude. Like, yeah. It, 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 I don't think it showed amaturity necessarily, but it just kind of, it was just a little bit irritating because it kept it wasn't taking necessary. me from the story. I think it was necessary because I think what they were trying to do is they were trying to give you an emotional punch to let us know why he was doing this. But again, this is, this is not just a John Wick thing. This is a pretty standard revenge film thing. This is what they do. They always have a backstory. I just got a little bit, anno little bit annoyed that they kept doing the flashbacks so much. But, um... We're also getting these cuts to this guy, Baba Shakti, mm -hmm. um, who seems to be kind of like a religious figure, but he's also like a political figure. Were y'all intrigued by him at all? I wasn't necessarily intrigued. I was just curious to how he was going to eventually play in the story because mm -hmm. they, they focused on him too much. And they did that a lot. Like there were things that it seemed like they were focusing on and I couldn't quite understand why, but it, it made it tied in by the end of the movie. So I was kind of curious to see how he was going to play. Ken? I mean, he felt like he was the guy pulling all the strings, um, but, hmm. you know, it was just a matter of waiting to see what his role was in the movie. Okay. Yeah, he it didn't, I didn't catch that. I didn't think he was the guy that was pulling the strings for some reason. Mm -hmm. No, nah, he just seemed like a, like a religious figure or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was the main muscle guy. The Ron, cop? Whatever. Yeah, the Ronnie. cop or whatever. So, yeah. He <laughs> said Ronnie. It's not Ronnie? Rana. <laughs> I honestly, a. <laughs> two I, of them. <laughs> I honestly thought he was going to play into the Hunahan story a little bit because he seemed to be like a religious figure. I mm. wasn't necessarily anticipating him being the the villain ultimately. Yeah, same. I I knew he was important. Or well, actually, to t I take that back. I didn't know if he was important or if they were just being artsy by cutting to this random ass spiritual mm. guy. I never once thought that he was going to be tied to the actual story until it actually happened. Um, so maybe I was just not paying close enough attention. But um, so, yes, yeah, so we see Bobby's bought a gun and he's practicing how to shoot. 
And we also meet this little dog that he's kind of been feeding outside of the club, which this leads to a brilliant way to bypass the security system because they're checking them every time they go in to the club. They're checking them for weapons. But he uses this little dog to sneak the gun into the club by going in the back door. So we see that uh, he's trying to assassinate the club's main security guy, whose name is Rana. Um, what did y'all think of the fight between Bobby and Rana that was in the bathroom? Is that what we call it? Bobby stay getting his ass Ronnie in the guy, first half. That, that was my issue. Bobby can't fight. We, I think they was trying to establish that Bobby know how to get his ass whooped. <laughs> Man, Ronnie couldn't fight for shit, bro. Oh, that shit bothered me. Oh, wow. Was like, it didn't it. bother me, mm. but I was like, okay, so we supposed to establish that this nigga know how to take a punch. So if he ever learn how to fight, this nigga going to be unstoppable. And that's what happened. Yeah, because because in the because what you know, of course he was he was you know taking falls for money in the beginning, so that's why he was losing the fights. But I was like, well, he, he probably know how to throw down for real until he met Rana, Rana, and Rana just whooped his <laughs> ass. He did. And I'm like, bro, if you don't shoot this man, and he couldn't even get the damn gun. Bro, he got, man, I, I felt bad for him. Bro. And he was still talking crap to him about his mama. Yeah. At the same time. Bro, he, yeah. Like, somebody talking about your mom, you can't just keep, keep getting beat up. You got to do something. <laughs> you what you thought, Mike? What happened? So it was intentional. At no point y'all related this to the story of Hanuman that they told at the beginning of the movie? Uh, I thought Hanuman I mean, went up and came down. Right. What did Bobby do? He what? came down and he, he went up. He went up. <laughs> <laughs> no, he worked his way up was knocked down, and then he has to go back up later on, which will get come there. Come on, come on, but, Depth. Oh, I was waiting for that to happen later on in the movie. Don't not right so there. So, so at this point, no. he done got the, the, the sun mango? Yeah, when did he do yes. that? So, so the story of Hanuman <laughs> okay, was Hanuman was going up. He saw he saw the sun, thought it was a mango. Mm -hmm. He climbed up there to get it. Oh, because he thought that was the nigga, thought, but that's not actually the nigga. That's, that, no, he got to get to that. Bobby, Bobby Fett, Boba Fett, the sun. <laughs> Bobby knows who the N-word is. But what I'm saying is Hanuman <laughs> went up there, and because of his selfishness, the gods knocked him back down to earth. They mm. clocked him on his mouth, under his chin, knocked him back down to earth. Bobby is having the same story. He's mm -hmm. working his way up. He gets to the top. And what I thought was so dope about this was the fact that he wasn't like this amazing fighter. He got his ass kicked. Any standard fucking revenge film, yeah, I'm, I'm that guy. And he, they just beat their way through everybody. And then it's like, okay, it's established that this is like the best fighter ever. I like the fact that Bobby lost and had to go back down to the bottom and work his way back up. But again, we'll get to all of that. I don't but, disagree with you. I do like that he that he was losing. Yeah. I did think mm -hmm. that added some sort of depth to it because you do expect him to to win, like to, to right. somewhere win. I mean, but he was doing some amazing stuff to get up out of there, though. Well, the whole point is, I think that he is an, he is a great fighter, mm -hmm. but I like the fact that he didn't just immediately win. Yeah, he and it's not like he just got the shit beat out of him and that was it. He mm -hmm. gave he gave Rana some good hits and he took out those other dudes that were in the bathroom. But yeah, he did. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, yeah, we hit that guy with the, the slammed him on the toilet. That shit was crazy. And then oh, he then dropped he the dropped gun it, in the back. Uh, yeah. That was so nasty. That whole scene, again, and the fact that good. he did That it scene himself, was good. It was incredible. All the action scenes in this was good. All really the action good. scenes were yeah. good. Like, like I, that's one thing that I could take away from this movie. The action scenes were good. So this leads to this insane car chase. <laughs> Can we talk about how that nigga couldn't bust through the window, though? That shit oh, that shit was funny. Everybody the whole was laughing. Was busted out laughing. Everybody was that. laughing. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> that yeah. shit was hilarious. That was, that was a good director's choice for him not to bust through that, yeah. that glass. Because like, that made it realistic. He's flawed. He's not, he's not like, he's yeah. not John Wick. <clears throat> he's yeah, a regular John dude Wick trying to beat. That. John Wick would have busted through all of that. Yeah, we know he ain't John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not called John Wick, so you know it's not John Wick. Y'all just shitting on my boy Bobby. Bobby beat y'all ass, I bet that. I don't Bobby was know. the beat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Go get me a calm ass. We'll see what's up. <laughs> Bobby was not his name. Bobby was the bleach. Huh? So he, when the dude asked him what his name was, his name, he said Bobby. But as soon as he said that, they panned to like the bottle of bleach, which is what he used when he gave dude that coke. The Bobby was the brand of bleach. No, I know, was, oh. but he, but we never find out yeah, what his name is. Yeah, we don't know is. his name throughout. That's why I'm just movie. calling him Bobby because gotcha, we don't yeah. know. Because like you can call him the kid, you can call him the boy. It's mm -hmm. just like I'll just call him Bobby because he on, said Bobby. my name's Bobby. What was the significance before you move on of the of the lady that had the sparrow tattoo? Because he that seemed to bother him a lot. 
Okay. Her name her name was Sita. Okay. And uh, part of the Hanuman story is Hanuman saves this um, this goddess. I I assume she is. Her name is Sita. Mm-hmm. And he saves her from and and Desi folks in the comments, I, forgive me. I don't remember the 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 demon that uh, Hanuman saves Sita from. But I don't think it was just a random thing that her name was Sita as well. Mm-hmm. I don't really know exactly what the sparrow means. Um, and I can't look at the comments. So if, if y'all see it in the comments, y'all mm-hmm. let me know. I'm not really exactly sure what the significance of the sparrow was. Um, but yeah, so this leads to a crazy car chase with Bobby and Alfonso inside of Alfonso's car, Nicki Minaj. Uh, what did y'all think of this action sequence where he's getting he gets captured, he breaks free, he fights the guy in the brothel, he gets shot, and then he falls in the water. What were y'all thinking? Nay, I know you got something to say. Well, no, this the whole sequence. So I was afraid that the cameras, the way he was shooting and how like chaotic it was, was going to annoy me. Mm. But it felt so right in this particular action sequence. Um in a way, it's just like it. He pop up, and it and it kept. It's like it kept going. Like there was no break. The way that nigga jumped out of that that police car and jumped on that van, the shit mm-hmm. was crazy. And that nigga with that axe, when he, oh yeah, that shit was nuts. when he nuts. swung. The way he was swinging that shit, and he swung and hit somebody completely different. Mm-hmm. That yeah, the action in this movie was. So oh yeah, didn't he hit somebody in the neck? Yeah, or something that's what like I'm saying. That? Yeah, yeah, he crazy. Somebody in the neck and just. And kept and it still kept going. Like mm. like I'm saying, they really established that Bobby knows how to get his ass beat and keep going. Yeah, we knew that. Rod, he got plenty of practice. Well, Ken got something to say. Ken, what did you think of this whole sequence? Go ahead, Rod. <laughs> Jesus. No, no but no, nah, this sequence was oh. dope. Yeah, since he called on me, this sequence was dope. I did like the hats thing. I was like, bro, this is crazy. Uh, so yeah, him running and stuff like that and getting shot. So yeah, this was cool. Right. Yeah, it was just a continuation of like it being a little realistic on how he's actually getting hurt and he actually falling and things like that. So I thought I thought I did like that. Like I said, I'm not I'm not against the whole um at this point necessarily calling it John Wick. It wasn't until the second half that I started calling it John Wick. At this point, is it, it, it I, I get it. it it's, it's not like a revenge because he ain't got no revenge yet. <laughs> he ain't got no revenge yet. <laughs> you're right. You're right. So so yeah. So you know. Um, so no, it was it was it was entertaining enough. It kept it kept me intrigued. Got you. Yeah. I'll just throw out there. If anything, this is more old boy than John Wick. But uh, I was gonna I mention old that boy. Too. Yeah. Well, I, it wasn't this scene. It was later when I mm-hmm. got more old boy. Mm-hmm. That's that. That's that. The the Asian film we watched. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I got that later in the film. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this this was a part that I found really fucking interesting. This is when he wakes up in this sort of temple mm, that's mm. run by a group of trans mm, mm. vagrants uh, led by a trans woman named Alpha. Uh, what, oh Lord, no, we're not doing that. What did you think of of uh, what did you think of his time there and his sort of uh, his sort of training montage? Nay? So this again is where I like because they they briefly mention. The trans community yeah. and the abuse that they're exi- they're having in the beginning, and that's why I was yeah. like, well, "That's real random. This is going to come back." So when he landed in that temple, and when they showed the god, it was half man, half woman. I was really mm-hmm. interested because I know that that community, like, is technically supposed to be protected because they are like a god, kind of godlike, mm-hmm. because they have that god that is half man, half woman. So um, mm-hmm. that whole aspect of it was really interesting to me. Ken? Um, it, it did explain or make sense of why they had that part when they mentioned it earlier. I thought they were just taking the opportunity to highlight mm-hmm. the issue that was going on. I didn't know they were going to actually incorporate it into the movie. So I thought it was, a, it was definitely a good um, uh, addition to it to spotlight some things that may be going on that, um, you know, over there that I know, you know, I, I'm not keeping up with what's happening. So um, to bring an awareness to something that may be happening or is happening, I thought was good. Mm-hmm. Before we get into Rod's opinion, Super Chats need to be closed. They probably should have been closed a while ago. Oh, they were? <laughs> what? I, it was my fault because I didn't say it. But there's a lot. So we is it a lot? Yeah, it's a lot, guys. Well, we I mean, still have, we, just posted and we still have, still open, so. We still have Nate's whole other section. 
I don't okay. think it's that all many, right. though. We're going to do this bullshit again. Okay. Moving along. We're going to be here all fucking night because nobody wants to listen to Mike. All righty. <laughs> so, <laughs> I I actually really liked... Um, oh, I'm sorry, Rod. It was your turn. Go ahead, man. Um, Him landing in. No, I, I think you explained it well enough. Yeah, I, I thought it was interesting that they tied that with the the whole um, statue and all of that. So, yeah, I'm not, I, I thought that was important in the story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't get that they were trans at first. Oh, really? Uh, nope. I did not get that they were trans. You didn't get until... that with the with the man. The um, well, the what's what was her what was her mm-hmm. not his, the man. <laughs> them. What was the name? What was Good their job, name? Rod. Thank Alpha. you. What was Alpha? You didn't get that when you saw Alpha. Nope. Mm. nope. I didn't. I didn't get that they were trans until they were showing uh, Bobby fighting the bag of rice, and the other trans woman walks over. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It did. It did. I just didn't. I wasn't thinking about it. I just thought that they were like uh, uh, creatively dressed vagrants. The trans part didn't click until a little bit later. Um, But I really liked Alpha's character, especially when they explained, because I I can't remember how this part of the conversation came up, but Alpha said that they're man, woman, uh, both and neither, which I found that to be an interesting Mm -hmm. uh, Expl- explanation for for their gender, but I also liked um, the just the description of how he uh, they told Bobby that you need to destroy things um, in order for other things to grow because you have to create space for new life. Mm-hmm. So Alpha was really 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 interesting, and this is probably one of my favorite parts of the film when they were going through this montage, especially when we find out that Alpha has given Bobby some sort of herb. That enhances his. Um, is that what it was? <laughs> I don't know, but that's what it seemed like. It was like mm-hmm. something that makes him fight better, which I thought that was actually really interesting. Yeah, because was said it that it made it physically made him fight better, or more so that it just cleared his mind so that he was able to fight better? I don't know. I All we as. know is that when he blew that stuff on him, that after that, Bobby was a bit better at fighting. He was able to, and that's when I think we get the full yes, flashback sequence. Yes. And I think that's what made Bobby actually able to focus on, okay, I need to learn how to fight better because I really want to finish my mission. But I thought that whole scene was um, extremely well done. It took that for him to learn how to fight better? <laughs> because Bobby yeah. thought that he could. Bobby, didn't You think Bobby think- thought he could fight? Well, he wouldn't have done it all of this if he didn't think he could fight. Bobby had trained prior to this. It's not like he just walked up in there. Bobby thought he could do it, but he got to the top. He fucking, he froze with the gun, and then he fucked up after that. And then Rana was a better fighter than Bobby was planning for. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, he was like, I, I bit off more than I can chew. Yes, yes. This, this he thought it was going to be a lot easier than mm-hmm. it was. And then Rana was like, nah, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm the head of security Rana, for a reason. Yeah. Yeah, Ronald was that dude. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this is where we get the full story of what was going on in the flashbacks. His mother was beaten and set on fire by Rana. They, was, they were living in this village that was being taken over by uh, the police. And Baba Shakti is actually involved. But I think what they were going for uh, here was a really emotional gut punch with uh, Bobby burning his hands trying mm-hmm. to save his mother so nay what did you think about this part oh it was heartbreaking it was really heartbreaking um it, it like you you kind of knew it right you, you knew but even still seeing like him watch his mother be raped and murdered and trying to to save her and burning his hands as was a little raped? kid yeah, yeah that's what him. he was saying. Like that's why he said your whore mother and all that. Yeah. I caught all that, but I thought he just yeah, being no, a dick. they showed, I, yeah, yeah. They think, showed it. I didn't. They see showed that. him take the pants. He, he he like right after he was like strangled her or whatever. Uh, yeah, they showed him take the pants off, and you heard him grunting. No, I thought he. I thought he used his belt just to beat. That's her. That's what I thought. He beat her, but then he laid on top of her, and you saw they showed him looking him looking down, and you heard the grunts. I took that. I as thought him that was him hitting her, her. but you're yeah, probably I right. Too. I didn't realize he raped her. She. Yeah. yeah, they're saying she wasn't raped. Are we sure? No, we're not. We're not sure. We're absolutely not sure. But either way, either way, keep going. Oh no, but yeah. So seeing it, it was it was. Even though I ex- I knew what it was, it was still sad to like. Mm-hmm. visualize it mm-hmm. rod same thing i just couldn't quite connect with the flashbacks personally okay. like like i understand what was happening and why it was happening i guess i just never got attached to the mother like i didn't see enough of her in this story to be like oh man i, I know it's messed up but 
to to the story. Mm-hmm. It just they never they never made me feel anything for her. Just just him. All I knew is that he wanted to avenge his mother. But okay. okay. No, no, go ahead. X. Well, I mean, is it necessary for you to feel something for the motivation for the for the for the revenge guy? Because did you feel anything for that damn dog and John Wick? I didn't. Uh, but you were but you were hyped on the fact that John Wick was killing a bunch of people over a dog mother that was if but we're that's going, to my point though like you don't care about the dog right right but you were still uh, so I, I guess I, I guess you're saying if they had shown a bunch of flashbacks of the dog you wouldn't have cared yeah I like, got you, like, you see what I'm saying okay. so it's the same thing with this like got I don't it. really care it's more so about him okay um not saying I don't care but it's just that the way they it told didn't do the enough story, it didn't do enough okay. for me to be like Oh man, they really did that to that uh, to his mom. Oh, I know man. it sounds messed up. Oh man. <laughs> but I'm talking about in the sense of the movie. It just it just didn't work. Damn shame what they did I to that dog. Fucked up what they did. <laughs> yeah, right. Damn. So you didn't really you didn't really need the the explicit motivation. I for didn't. Bobby. I didn't really. Okay. I didn't really. So when it so when they did it, it land it didn't it didn't quite it didn't land hit. for me. It didn't yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ken, same. Um I'm glad that we got a chance to get the full story. You know, mm-hmm. and and I did like how they show how how his hands got burnt. You know, I thought mm-hmm. that was I thought that was really cool and interesting because I think he had lied about that earlier. He did. He said it was bleach. Yeah, which it, no, I guess it wasn't. Yeah, nah, because he had been he was using a lot of that bleach stuff. But yeah, so I, I thought that was cool. All right, so uh, we see that Bobby is newly invigorated. He goes back to the fighting arena. And he beats King Cobra fairly easily this time. I didn't really take a whole lot from this. If y'all did, raise your hand. Otherwise, we're going to keep well, moving. you said fairly easy? <laughs> yeah, he oh, kind of yeah. beat him pretty good. It was, it was more than fairly. He oh. just hit him with one <laughs> kick and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely easy. Yeah, that, 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 yeah, that shit was funny. Wow. And then, um, you know, I like how he beat the giant guy, too, because uh, you weren't going to beat him physically yeah. You know, <laughs> straight up. Remind me how he how he finished the, the he giant him, off. He hit him in the nuts. <laughs> He's half he jumped and punched yeah. him. He a came couple tumbling of times. down. Yeah, yeah he, he did. did. It didn't yeah, do anything did. though. But I, I thought when he hit him in the nuts, he started to fall. Okay, yeah. that's what it was. Yeah, because yeah, he was. Pu- yeah, the punches weren't really working. That nut kick yeah, always yeah, worked. Yeah, that shit he towered over. Um, but the the. Punching the rice bag, whatever that thing was, the bean bag. Mm-hmm, the rice. It was rice. That's a that's a pretty common thing, especially in poor areas. Okay. There, like, I mean, and that's, I mean, I, I would imagine that's probably something here too. Hmm. I mean, if you're poor and you live in the hood and you want to learn how to box, you don't have access to a punching bag. Well, uh, Why do they need the drums? When, uh, what's the name? Uh, God. Rocky. Rocky. When Rocky put oh. the heat, he, when he punching sides of beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he was. Right. He was. I'm, I'm the drumming part. What was oh, I thought that, that was amazing. I thought it was dope too. So it's so I thought it was interesting how he was tying it to how the story before, like one drum was the male, one mm-hmm. drum was the female, and the deeper the male drum that had the deeper tone was supposed to be like his hook, and then the the lighter one was the okay. jab. Yep. So he was trying to punch in time with the with the. Okay, uh, I didn't even pick up on that. I didn't either. I was like, Dang. bro, this is so they trying to be too artsy. See, now I see why y'all motherfuckers didn't like this hey, movie. Hey, admittedly. Like I'm saying, like some stuff it. just didn't connect to me. Like, you know. That's why I said the word. I'm like, what the world? Yeah. Bro, y'all don't get out of here with this shit. I think at this point I was looking for stuff like this. And I imagine if you were not, then that shit would not hit at all. I knew it was supposed to, but it just still didn't. I get it. I don't know. Like and and maybe um, it worked for y'all. It didn't for me. Maybe Mm -hmm. maybe that's the amateur debut thing, maybe for from for me, but apparently he's he did it. It connect for y'all, so maybe it's a me. It's I don't a think problem. it's an amateur debut issue. I just think that it's an over analytical issue. Maybe mm. y'all didn't over analyze. I over analyze everything, and you know that. And I do too. I'm analytical. I do too, but for some reason I didn't with this. That and wasn't... because you were probably expecting it just be a regular old action film, which I wasn't. And I think I was like even right. though, even though they gave us that in the beginning, right. I knew I was supposed to pay attention to that part. Right, but. I don't know, man. But just see, even when I'm not supposed connect. to, I overanalyze shit. Yeah. And I think that's why mm-hmm. that part made sense to me. But yeah. if, if I was walking in expecting it to just be yeah. a John Wick, I wouldn't have paid attention to that stuff. And you also took notes for the review. See, I didn't. That you know too. what I'm saying? So I, I feel like if I would have taken notes for the review, I was like, oh, man, that's actually pretty dope. Like right. the drum thing, I think it's dope. Now that y'all reveal that and I know that, mm-hmm. I, I was like, okay, I didn't realize that when I was watching it. And I thought right. he was just, you know, 
Playing his drums. Give him some music. Give him some Rocky music. I thought that's what it was. I feel that. I get it. So I get it. I I I did pick up because there were certain things I had to Google after this. I did pick up that, and this was something I found really dope about the film is it was very 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 uh deep with indian culture mm-hmm. and showing certain things yeah. that americans mm-hmm. would not normally know um so there were a couple things i had to go look up like the drum thing with the male and the female i didn't know that was a thing but he explained it a couple when they um uh, i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> he gotta go read it she just you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she was gonna tear me up you know boy yo dumbass <laughs> They said the shit. <laughs> Where the fuck were you? It's like it's like when people in school like they have to read a lot to get a get yeah, a and they in. read it for you because you, you take it too long. And then the other person just come in class and yes. just ace it. That's God, what she just did. Damn. To you. That's what she just did to you. But to your point, Mike, <laughs> I did love the Indian culture uh, yeah, aspect yeah. of it a lot, a lot. Yeah. So yeah. So <laughs> not to explain my stupidity, but yeah, when 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 Alpha was described. Was that Alpha that was doing it? Was that the other person? Who? That was doing the drum part. That was Alpha, right? It was somebody right? else. It was somebody else. Mm-hmm. The other person that was, um, they had a name. I just don't remember what it was. Alpha was in the crowd with him like, ooh, take that shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love Man, Alpha. Man, that was I funny. Alpha was <laughs> yeah, I did like that part. <laughs> but what I had to look up was, I wasn't sure if that was just something for the movie or if that was something that was taken directly out of Indian culture. And it, apparently it is. And I found that to be really interesting. Mm-hmm. I can only imagine how much shit I did miss because yeah. I don't know that this is part of uh, Indian culture. So props to Dev Patel for that. But yeah. yes, so he goes back to the Kings and he fights his way through there again, um, which I had to call off this scene. This is one of my favorite scenes of the whole fucking movie. And that's the part in the elevator. Well, he came out with that red box behind him. Bro, that shit was so dope. It looked so cool. So dope. And when he fucking put the knife to his neck and he couldn't get his hand and he used, and he his, used his teeth, oh, I was yeah, like, that this was shit is a me- John Wick can't do that. He John Wick ain't never sliced yeah, right. a nigga note with his teeth. You're right. <laughs> you're right. He, wouldn't, he wouldn't have had to. You're but right. that, 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 yeah, that, that teeth scene was dope. I oh, I loved it. I loved that this was during Diwali. You like that, what? That, that time, that celebration. So you were saying that it was like deep with Indian culture, like the scenes that they had of the crowds like during Diwali. Oh, the, that, yeah, I thought yeah, that yeah. was what really is that? dope. So um, Diwali is a big, um, it's almost like 4th of July meets Christmas. And it's generally mm. like the mm. end of October, early November. Um, it's a big, um, it's a religious holiday in India. And um, it's like, yeah, it's like you see, Chris, it's almost like Christmas lights everywhere. Mm. So it's a really big, they do fireworks and all of that stuff. So it being during that celebration, I thought it was cool. No, that's that's dope. I thought they were just partying. He 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 fought well in this one though. Like when he went up there before he even got in the elevator. This, this yeah, mm-hmm. he was throwing it down. Yeah, he was doing his thing. So we all with him yeah. by this point, right? What was the point of him putting on the monkey mask and taking it off when he got I, there? I hated he did that. I bro. don't know. <laughs> I think I think it was maybe supposed to represent that he thought he needed it uh, until he got there and he was like, you know what? No, I don't need this shit. It's just me. Uh, oh, okay, I don't because he it. was hiding his face through his other fight. I don't know. That, he did so much. He, he, yeah. he bleached it and yeah. all this. Yeah. I'm like, so why did you do all that just to take it off? I really don't know, and I feel like I'm reaching trying to explain it. <laughs> I really do because I was I was wondering the yeah. exact same thing. I was like, I thought he was gonna go through there and fight the whole way up with the monkey so mask on. I, that would have been that would have been dope, but he probably <laughs> wouldn't have been able to see well. So yeah, I don't I don't really get it. Again, I can't look at the chat because I got notes. So if somebody says in the chat. Uh, maybe what happened? Some letting go of the past. I don't know, but I was maybe like, that's bro, it. Leave that shit on, cause that shit would have been crazy. Mm. Cause it looked scary when he when he Hell first yeah. walked up with it, and then he took it off. Shit, the like, Spike would have walked in with that monkey mask. Bro, I'm, I'm, out. Out, bro. I'm out. I probably would have went through the back door. If he has walked in with the mask, it said Pauls. <laughs> What, what y'all gonna do? <laughs> monkey y'all balls. Right, huh? monkey, <laughs> monkey balls on your ass, bro. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> All right, so we see him fighting with Rana again. And what did y'all think of this fight? Now y'all talk y'all shit. I'll get to Nate last. Ken, t- oh, 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 I'm, I didn't know you about to talk. Go ahead, Nate. I like the fact that because we saw the fight before, and I, I tend to have this issue with your villains in mo- with villains in movies. It's mm-hmm. like I actually was a like I'm like oh, okay, no, this nigga can actually fight, right? So it's not like you went into it thinking like I'm not really scared of this guy. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like okay, it's a possibility you might actually get your ass beat again, yeah. guys. So yeah. Okay. And then the go. And then the what? And no, I said, and then they can go. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, uh, still, he still got, got, 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, he still gave it to him a little bit. Yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah, 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 what yeah, made yeah. this so good? It wasn't, it wasn't, yeah, it does make it good. It wasn't light work. Mm-hmm. No, it wasn't no, light no, work. No. It absolutely mm-hmm. wasn't light work. But I did like the fact that he was just like more calm and confident now. Mm-hmm. What's, what's wrong, producer? No, no, I was just going to tell y'all in the chat, they said the reason he wore the mask is because everyone else is wearing masks and he's a haunted man. He's a wanted man. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. That's right. But what he bleaches for? Yeah, that, what he do all the extra stuff for? It makes it that he, much he more. He had pointless. to get it ready for. Oh, then he right. it because they knew the other one. I don't know. Nah, nope, nope. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. No. <laughs> didn't, nope. Didn't, didn't make any sense. Mm-mm. Um. Okay. Did y'all both? Yeah, I thought. Yeah, the, the, this this fight was better. I, I definitely wanted to make sure. I wanted. I was hoping they made sure that Ronnie was still seen as that guy. Yeah. Or Rana. So I like that. It wasn't easy. That they were still, it still was tough, and he basically once he kind of got him down, he just didn't let him up, and mm-hmm. and that was the thing. So so yeah. What did what uh what was the point of cutting away on the punches? Like it's one like he point was of stat- what cut like doing cutaways like he go for the punch and you cut away. Probably you know budget. how people do that when they when you about to stab somebody. It's probably budget. Yeah, and and know. the fact that he I don't know when he hurt his hand but mm-hmm. but Dev Patel broke his hand he did yeah. doing some of these stunts oh mm-hmm. so that might have been why maybe they didn't want to show I don't know it was his very first fight scene oh mm-hmm. so maybe so his hand early. was still fucked up by this point yeah. Yeah. they mm-hmm. had a whole a, a lot of production problems so, yeah they broke a camera apparently they had a lot of issues died during COVID yeah. someone yeah. died yeah they, yeah yeah I didn't know that one thing that bothered me I, and, and I, I know we kind of skimmed through the the actual fight throughout the whole thing. I know we talked about the elevator and all that. Mm. But where did the guns go? Why no one had guns at this point? Why none of the guys have guns? Yeah, so I I know that they... I had the same question, honestly, when I was watching it. And what I chalked it up to is where they were in that area. Like, I could see them not having guns, like, in that little celebration of the religious guy. And on top of it being Diwali, I could see them like not ha- being heavily armed. But I don't know why there weren't guards who would have been armed. Yeah, I was you like, inside the club. Yeah, because yeah. everybody got scanned for guns, so maybe there were only a couple people that are supposed to have them. Because Queenie had a gun. Queenie. I Queenie's thought she the, was going to play a little boss. bit a bigger. I thought she was going to play a bigger. Yeah, she role. did have a gun, but um, um, yeah, that that did surprise me because they all had guns earlier. You know what I'm saying? He got shot early, and I'm like. All but of he a got sudden, shot no. by a cop. Wasn't it a cop that shot him when he I fell off so. the cliff? I the, think so. But, yeah. this, but this guy had his henchmen or whatever. Why, not, why doesn't I understand people in the party not having guns? But his henchmen, why do they? Why do they not? Have I took guns? it as anybody that was Especially inside there weren't supposed to have guns. Especially if you're a cop, because wasn't he like the head of security or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he should have had a gun. It right? might be an Indian culture thing. Maybe you're not allowed to have guns That's, inside buildings. That's so what she was really saying. Really quick, so somebody in the chat, Jay okay. Boy, who I'm going to assume is from that area, he made two clarifications. He said that. Um, Hunaman and Sita are part of the reasons for, they're the two main characters that are for the celebration of Diwali. So that wow. came, came full circle with the, um, with the last day. And mm-hmm. then he also says that guns aren't as readily available in India as they are in the U.S. So maybe so only people certain people have yeah, them. Yeah, so people aren't just walking around with guns like that. Which is why I said in the er, in, in earlier on they had guns, but not here they had, didn't have them. Got it. I'd so, have to go back and watch it again. I don't remember a bothered. lot of people having guns. There was a lot of fist fights at the beginning. And which is why also he had to make a gun out of fireworks because he didn't they didn't have access to guns yeah. and it was so hard for him to I go find that a was gun. Going to be a that, little bit more impactful. Those little. Oh, pew, I liked pew. it. I, I did like, like it, it too because it, it was kind of creative and innovative. Oh, you might have answered the question. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's maybe yeah. that's why he came in with fireworks and not guns because you weren't allowed to have guns mm-hmm. in there. Right. I just I just missed it because I was wondering like, yo, what? All those dudes came off the elevator. They using sticks and yeah. I'm like, what is going on here? Yeah. Like, yeah, so. Mm. And the demon king that kidnapped Sita was Ravana. Just wanted to point that out. Um, Did y'all find any significance to Bobby beating Rana? He was beating him with a certain object. Did y'all pick that up? That shoe? A woman's shoe. Yeah, Yeah. that block shoe. I was like, he beating him with a block heel. I know that shit hurt. (laughs) That's what I was thinking. I'm like, God dang, bro. Significance, no. Uh, Just that it probably hurt a lot. You didn't think about Ravana killing, not Ravana, sorry, Rana killing his mother? Oh, besides Strangling. that, well, yeah. But what do you mean besides that? <laughs> I mean, I, I thought there was something else you were going to drop. <laughs> you thought it was drop, deeper? Yeah, I thought you were about to drop a gem on no, him, bro. No, that's the only gem I got, man, sorry. <laughs> 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 All right, so. And that was cut away too, though. So it was, it was so damn picky. I, I am. God damn. <laughs> 
Go watch fucking Rambo or some shit. I Damn. did like that Cedar got her get back to the Madam with Queenie. Oh, yeah. And was yes. able to, to, to fuck her up. Oh, and yeah. I was wondering, we again, part, yeah. when he did it, I was like, what's the point yeah, of him chopping off her thumb? We didn't get to that part yet. We did. Yeah, you, you just, he. No. No, he, they killed her. Yes. Yes, we did because he needed, didn't, wait. <laughs> we didn't get to that part yet. You, you fucking up my notes, Nate. No, no, pause. Your notes are wrong because he, he. <laughs> She fucked up Queen. She fucked up Queenie, and then he got in the elevator, and that's when he fought the the the, the cop she guy. Right, Ronna, Ronna, he, yeah. She right, Mike. Damn. I don't know what you, what <laughs> order you're going in. How <laughs> order is? I thought, I thought he well he, he he cut her thumb off because that was the only way to get into the penthouse. Right, and but I, I thought that was when he goes up to fight. Yes, but he had the, the he thumb had in his pocket. He left yeah. her, I was wondering the same and then thing. went and fought the nigga. Because he was in there by himself. So at what point do all of the trans people come Before, in? Before. So yep. that's... Right. So I'm... So my notes are right. You, you mentioned Ronda. Okay. So what he's saying he is that we Ronda. jumped around. We, is, we, we fucked up his notes before we even got to... Okay. to uh, thank yeah, you. That's so why I got yeah, you. That, thank you, Nate. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Yeah. So you. We, we all fucked up. Go ahead. <laughs> the trans people came in mm -hmm. and they all started fighting and I liked yes, it. Yes. Because I was trying to save that part because it was probably my favorite... One of my favorite scenes of the whole film because I was not expecting this part. Mm -hmm. But... I love the fact that he looks up and all of the guards rush in mm -hmm. and he's just like, well, all right, well, I guess I'm just going to have to fight. He was, he was bent down like, fuck. He's like, fuck, I really got to do this. <laughs> and then when the fucking, the, all the crew came running in and they were in those, the, those outfits. The saris, mm -hmm. yes. Oh my God. I was like, yo, this is dope. So this was the scene that made me think of old boy. And I mm -hmm. thought it was going to be like the hallway scene where he fights all of these people to get out. I did out. too. So yeah. when they, when it, when it showed his back up, I was like, oh, that's mm -hmm. cool. I yeah, love this yeah. part. I did. Oh, Lord. I thought they was too holy to be killing people, but I was like, I mean, if you're going to do it. <laughs> no, nah, Christians remember? kill people all the time. So, facts, you know, but this they're not religious. Christians, but facts, I know they're not, but facts. I'm just no, you're saying. Right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're making right. a parallel between. I mean, yeah, religion you know. But remember, they said they were warriors. Remember, uh, I can't remember if it was Alpha or the other one that looks like Alpha, but one of them said prior to us being thrown into this place, we I think were it was warriors. Alpha, yeah. So that part made sense to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I, it's, <sighs> damn. I did like this scene. I like they all rushed in to his defense. You know, he went and got them that money and shit like that. And um, and I, but I did want to see him fight all them guards though. I wanted him because mm -hmm. John Wick would have fought them all. Right? <laughs> he would have took all. All them could have rushed in there. He would have beat them all. He would have. He probably could, he would yeah because he would still had a gun or he would no. just, he would just use some <laughs> random ass thing <laughs> like a pen or a butter knife. I and was, killed everybody. I was but, like, oh shit, Monkey Man about to get down, But this was bro. more realistic to me. It I was, think that's it why was. I liked it, because he was not as good of a fighter as John Wick. And I like that they, they did, because I would have seen a little bit more of them fighting too. I, me too. That yeah. is my one complaint yeah. about this part. But, I just like them showing up, but I agree. I wish we saw more of them fighting, because I like the little weapons they had. Mm -hmm. But yep. yeah. Rod, you weren't impressed by this part. No, I was. I was. Okay. I liked it. I like the fact that it was, you remember I told you, I like the realistic element of it, that you mm -hmm. don't have them beating everybody ass mm -hmm. like that. So, no, I, I enjoyed it, and I liked when they came in, and they did the little, uh, what did they call, the, what they had on? The saris. saris. The saris, they were showing that in slow motion, how yeah. it moves, I thought that it was cool. It reminded me of that other um, movie we watched on Peacock with the little girl who was working to be a stunt double. Oh, yeah, it was it like that. It reminded me of that It movie. was like that. that, yeah. So, after this is when uh, Queenie comes in and starts capping people, bow. Bow, She's like, bow. you motherfucker. She's, oh, she shit. was mad yeah. to me. You motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but right when she's about to shoot um, Bobby, Bobby, she gets busted upside the head by Sita, which I didn't expect, but I knew he was going to get away, you know, get away from there somehow. But yes, this is when he, he cuts her thumb off. Um, but yeah, they needed the thumb to go up the elevator to the penthouse. Um, did y'all expect Sita to show back up? Or were y'all just, did she, was she like a flash in the pan? It was a bit point? of a flash in the pan. I mean, Same. cool, it's cool that she gets her revenge and she gets her lick back as, a, you know, against her madam, you know, having to have been in this lifestyle or whatever. And I get that it was probably trying to implicate like this fight is bigger than just Hen's vengeance. It's like all of these different marginalized people mm -hmm. or people who've gone through some sort of trial hardship getting their vengeance. 
Um, so, but it wasn't super impactful. But somebody in the comment thread section did mention a point that I do agree with that they liked the fact that they didn't force some sort of romantic love story between those yeah. two characters because it really wasn't necessary for the story. No, nope. I right. thought that was going to happen. One, because of the way he was looking at her earlier. Um, two, because her name was Sita. So I was like, oh, this means something. Three, because Jesus Christ, she was fucking fine she as hell. She is beautiful. Um, so I did think that they were going to go that route. Or I thought that he knew her already mm -hmm. and they were going to bring that back. But no, none of that wow, happened. So we got a movie without a love th plot. Right? This is Which like is one dope. of the very few films that I've ever seen without any sort of love mm -hmm. story. Because it wasn't even that about right? that. That's dope. What you think? Oh, yeah. Say something to that. <laughs> <laughs> he had the love for his mother. He did have the love for his mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You could, you could count but that as not, love. Yeah. You could count that as love. Not a romantic love story. I mean, to the point where he want to kill a nigga. <laughs> anyway, You could count that as love. No. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we already talked about the fight with Rana. But, yes, this is a fight that I was not really expecting. So he goes up and he walks out and Baba Shakti is just sitting there chilling. Acting like he's a bad motherfucker. Yeah, I cannot washing. stand grown man feet. And the fact that he was just <laughs> sloshing his feet around in that fucking water. I like that shit. Oh, I did too. my God. I was like, oh, he about to get down. I did too. I was like, this man, motherfucker's bad. You got to be bad if you just sitting there just like with one your leg feet in the up water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah he's you like, just you can, like, look at my toes, nigga. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Are you looking for me? <laughs> <laughs> here I go. <laughs> here I go. <laughs> I've been here. <laughs> Where you been? <laughs> um, I loved this scene. So, yes. So, Baba Shakti uh, gets up and he kind of, you know, he's talking to him about his shoes. Uh, I meant to write down what he said, but it was something it was something about how the shoes were made specially to not harm uh, certain creatures, little creatures, small creatures. And he's talking to him. He's showing him the engraving on the side, all of this shit. And Bobby's not really paying attention. But Baba Shock T has a fucking uh, little corkscrew joint on the side of his shoe. That's how you know a motherfucker's bad. Yeah, it's like that's some pimp shit. So he pulls it out. Sticks Bobby, stabs him, twists it, and uh, after that, of course, Bobby gets the upper hand, and he's still able to kill Baba Shakti. But what did y'all think about this final fight? Well, Ken? yeah, once, once, well, the first thing I was like, I need to look up these shoes because I'm like, how the hell do these shoes not squish bugs? Uh, I think that's Jain. That's like a Jainism thing, and okay. they, like, there's a certain places in chat. Please, 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 correct me if I'm wrong. But there's certain places there where they even wear like veils because they don't want to hurt bugs. Mm. So I think it was sort of making reference to that. And I, I, they didn't show the bottom of the shoes, but I imagine that maybe they're like, there's parts of them that are raised up higher off the ground. So when you're stepping, you don't step on as many bugs. Yeah. But yeah, but, um, but I, I was hoping to see a real fight. Uh, but when he was, Good in the shoes. I was like, I'm wondering if he had like some type of weapon in the shoe. Um, and he was trying to distract him, and he did, and stabbed him. And not only did he stab him, he was kind of moving he that shit it, around. Yeah. I thought, I thought it was a wrap for Bobby, bro. Mm. I thought it was over because they have knives where you do that, and then you, you like it, that shit ain't closing. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah. But you know, he's supposed to be the hero, or is the hero. So he stabbed him back, and then, you know, that was it. But he kind of went out like a punk. Who did? Baba Shakti. Mm -hmm. he, he got, he got an, uh, a, a flip flop stake in the head. <laughs> yeah, what did you want him to do? He's not like a fighter. I thought he's a political leader. I thought he was a fighter, bro. Why? I thought, I thought, I thought he was the, the car. I thought he was the final boss. He up there waiting. Like he, when you the play final a boss, never actually fight. No, that's not true. Yeah, in video games, they time with him. I, I do think it's a missed opportunity. Mm. I do think it's a missed opportunity. I didn't think he could fight when I saw him. I was like, he's not a, he's not the boss, so this mm. is going to be a little anticlimactic to me. He's personally. swinging his foot in water. <laughs> I, I, I think, I'm trying to think of a nice way to say this. Uh, I, I don't think this was a missed opportunity. I think that they were trying to make a point of the people that are doing all the harm, they're not all fighters. They're the people that sit up there and they pull the strings. That's who this guy is. It wasn't about like the final boss and I show up and I'm fucking punching and he's kicking and all this shit. It's a matter of they're taking out the, the kind of metaphorical person that's been 
controlling everything, that's been uh, making everybody downtrodden, that's been making everybody impoverished. Mm -hmm. Because the whole point is, and that's what I was going to get to, I don't know if y'all noticed the the painting that was in the background. Mm -hmm. um, y'all pick oh, out who that was? I saw all the paintings. I didn't know what any of them meant. Even when they zoomed in? Even when they zoomed Damn. in. Bro, I'm not familiar with Indian culture. It was, it was Hanuman. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It was Hanuman being triumphant. I think I dozed off. I hate you. <laughs> the painting of Hanuman in the background, triumphant, was very, very, very intentional. But the whole point is, did y'all, okay, I guess I didn't ask what you thought of the final fight before I even start rambling. Yeah, so no, I, I, like I said, I didn't, I, he, yes, I, I don't think it was a missed opportunity either. And even though he wasn't a, like, physical fighter, he still is the one who delivered the deadliest blow to him. So even with him being unable to, it not being like a knockout, drag down fight, he still, like, depending on what you think of the ending, potentially ended Bobby's life. So mm -hmm. even with that, it's like he, he, they killed each other, even though they weren't a physical, like, punch out fight. But no, I really, I really enjoyed the ending. Uh, like I said, he was sloshing around in the pool. It was kind of like the audacity of you to think that you could actually kill me. Yes. And he still actually was killed. So no, I thought it was cool. Did you already go? No, I didn't. But go ahead. Uh, well, I did say that I thought it was a missed opportunity, but I didn't get, I didn't get mm -hmm. into why I thought it was a missed opportunity. Uh, well, I guess I kind of did because he didn't, you know, he didn't, he wasn't like a, it wasn't a fight, you know. So it's mm -hmm. just like you, you kind of. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I just want to see more of a fight put up here. I mean, he just went through all of this stuff, like, mm -hmm. to get here just to take out someone that, that's kind of defenseless, you know, in my, mm -hmm. in, in, my, in my opinion. I get everything you're saying about how he's not defenseless, how he pulls strings and things, but mm -hmm. he is defenseless physically. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that was the part that I didn't particularly care for. So the reason I liked this was because um, we already saw a whole bunch of fist fighting and kicking and punching and all this. And again, I for some reason, I was not thinking that like when he when when Rana was dead, I thought the movie was over. So when he started going up higher, I was like, OK, what else is left? When he gets to the top and he walks out and Baba Shakti was there, I was like, oh, OK, but I, I wasn't sure where this was going to go. I actually thought he was just going to walk up and kill him. It was going to be over. I wasn't expecting this kind of mental mind game um, that he played. But the reason um, the reason I liked how this went was because I think the reason Bobby lost the first time was because he was only thinking about himself. He was like, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to fight. I want to avenge my mother. Mm -hmm. But then he meets these trans yeah. folks. Then he gets a connection to Sita, even though it was a very loose connection. But he understands that everything is being manipulated mm -hmm. and controlled and fucked up by this guy. So at this point, he's fighting for everyone. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason he won. He would have died in that fucking room had he not went and connected with those trans mm -hmm. uh, vagrants mm -hmm. and learned about their plight. He would have died after that if he had not connected with Sita in some way and that was the connection of the halusa of the ayahuasca situation to me like mm. when he had that when he had that drug like that was him relieving releasing yeah. his obsession with what happened to him so that he was open to be able to accept all of the other issues and things that are going on yes. so i think that was the significance of that scene to be able to get to the ending agree and that's why i thought the ending was was great because it was the same thing as Hanuman. Hanuman was selfish, tried to eat the sun, was punished mm -hmm. by the gods, and had to learn a lesson that this is not all about me, it's about everyone. I need to be more selfless. That's where Bobby comes in. And I mean, this, this, <laughs> this, is, this could be corny, but I like the fact that Hanuman was chasing the sun and instead, now we have this guy who is a son that's trying to go up high to avenge his mother, gets knocked down, has to go all the way back up because that's when he realizes, I have to do this for everyone, not just me. So I like the fact that it wasn't like, I walk off the elevator and fucking Baba Shakti comes and does a Liu Kang kick and there's a bunch of punching and kicking and all types of shit. I didn't need all that at that point. Right. I think this was more of like a metaphorical ending and the fact that both of them supposedly perish I thought was a a fucking perfect ending. Mm -hmm. So my last question for this review 
Is Bobby dead? Nay, owe me. For me, yes, he is. I feel like he, he, his, the whole story and the whole idea was him trying to get to this point to avenge his mother and eventually avenge other people. His mission is done. I don't think, I am, to me, he died and I don't think I need a sequel. I feel that, Rod. Is he dead? I mean, if he's representing the monkey man, what's the H word again? Hanuman. I don't think he's. I don't think he's like Hanuman reborn or anything. I uh, think that this story is just supposed to mirror, mirror Hanuman. like parallel with that. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like a similar lesson. So I guess for me, like if that, if it is whether it's literal or, or just like historically speaking, or whatever. I, I feel like he should still be alive and victorious in this whole thing. Mm. Okay, yeah. Ken is is Bobby dead? Man, bring the monkey man back, bro. Damn. I want him to wear the mask this time. Mm. <laughs> just Maybe that's out. why he bleached it for the sequel. It could be. <laughs> go out and get revenge for everybody that's been done wrong. But with the way uh, whatever his name was twisting that knife, bro, I don't know. That's 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 rough to come back. But I, I think he alive. I mean, it was just a little, a little, a little dagger. Them effects, bro, made it seem like, like it wasn't on. a little. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and, and that's, I, it Wait. wasn't sold to me yeah. that that get. I mean, it's a movie at this point. He's gotten worse. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's he's been he's been hurt worse than this mm -hmm. this this little. little Not thing. really. I think so. When he's just been he punched got, and kicked, he got shot. shot. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, he was shot just it was like a graze because they just, all they did was sew it up. I thought they it went probably went through him or something. No, they, had to, they, had, to, they had to pull a, pull the uh, particles out. Pull it out. Okay. Yeah, they had to pull the particles out. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Bill's from far away. That bullet might have slowed down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> actually, if it goes through, him, it's works. a better chance for him it living. Is. Actually, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You're right. So it didn't go through him. So they had to pull the particles out. But, yeah, because uh, it slowed down. See, <laughs> physics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, my answer is uh, depending on if this movie makes a lot of money. <laughs> that will depend on if he's dead or not. I would like for him to be dead because I think this was a really, really, really good ending. You know, when he just kind of looks out over the city and just sees the city and then he just passes out. I think that was just uh, perfect. But I don't know how well this, this movie is doing. I didn't learn until after watching this that it has actually not been released in India due to their censorship. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Um, and they're, they're figuring that once it does get released in India, it's going to be so heavily censored that it's yeah. probably not even going to be the same movie. I can mm. see it. So, um... They already got the cutaways and stuff, so... I think um, it's more... What's up? I was going to say, um... Well, the real first statement, it's it was important. made for $10 million and made this It made $10 million back this weekend, so Dope. it's probably going to be working in the profit. But Dope. as far as India... I mean, one thing that they're probably going to have to worry about, and y'all correct me in the chat, and like, forgive me for my ignorance. This is mm -hmm. coming from secondhand information that they have like this political thing um, about like Hinduism being right. a part of the politics right now, when mm -hmm. really it's supposed to be not really a part of. Like, I I, I have a base level, and they may mm -hmm. know a little bit more than I do. I don't. But <laughs> um, he mm -hmm. also commented on that in this movie. So. Yeah. Like that may be another reason why uh, it may not be released in India gotcha. because he's commenting to that social commentary. As well. That was what I read as well. Gotcha. So when I was talking about the heavily censored stuff, it's not the fighting, the political. It's the fact that it's the political stuff. They don't like that. I can see it. And the fact that they're depicting this um, this holy man as being a political puppeteer. Yeah. I think that's the part gotcha. that they're gonna cut out. So they would have to change that whole. Concept. And that's why I was saying it's not even gonna be the same movie at yeah. that point. And I thought that even though it might have made what it, it like it might have broke even, I thought it was still underperforming this weekend. Could be. I, yeah. I mean, the way they work, because sometimes they put promotion mm -hmm. on top of what the budget was or whatever. Yeah. Else, so. Well, that's all I got for this one. Um, again, I thought this movie was great. I hope Dev Patel is given another shot yes, at sir. doing another movie. I know I watched an interview where he said he wants to do horror. Um, and this was also, by the way, picked up by Jordan Peele's Yo, Monkey Paw. Um, this is a side, a side point is that this was supposed to be a Netflix film. And Netflix kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Somehow Jordan Peele saw it and said, nah, this is, this is a movie theater movie if I've ever seen one. Mm -hmm. And he bought it from Netflix just so he could put it in the movie theater, which kudos to him. Um, I love the culture here. I like the way that they laid out the Hanuman story. And I thought the action was fucking dope. So, yeah. Um, real quick around the room, real fast. Nay, would you watch this again? Yeah, absolutely. Rod, would you watch this again? Yeah, I'll watch it again. If you ain't got nothing else to do. 
No, no, it's not even that. I wanted to go read about it before the review, but I just saw it yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, so it did make me want to go see if there's a deeper meaning here that I just missed, you know. Uh, but yeah, now that we reviewed it with those type of details, I want to see if it feels different. Mm. Ken, would you see it again? Uh, so if this was on Netflix, would I push play? Probably. I don't know. Maybe if I, yeah, I think you're right. Maybe if I ain't got shit else to watch. Damn. Mm. I, you know, I, I could, I could rewatch it mm-hmm. if that's. Yeah, I could definitely rewatch it. But you know. Will I ever have a desire to? Probably not. Damn. All right. Well, we're going to transition into the would next one. Would you play. watch it? Oh, sorry. Thank you. Yeah, I would definitely watch this again. <laughs> because I, I, I genuinely fun. think there was a lot of stuff that I missed. Mm. Because I saw this in the theater. So I would like to watch this at home when I can pause it and be like, okay, let me go see what the fuck they're talking about. Let me go see what this is. So yeah, I would definitely watch this again. This was one of the, this was one of the most fun times I've had in the theater so far this year. Yeah, I, I, I know why you're saying it's fun, because Sisu, we thought Sisu was fun yeah. or whatever. This like, was more fun than Sisu to me. Yeah, it was. Mm. It was. Mm. Yeah, I, I thought Sisu was a lot more fun. I mean, with this one, I really felt like I yeah. came to this place to laugh, to cry, <laughs> and to care. Oh. And, oh. uh... <laughs> What the fuck is happening? <laughs> you can go ahead and end it, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> you go close out, dog. <laughs> yes. Don't leave yet, y'all. We have we have more for y'all. There's more coming. Um, I know the guy, uh, real quick, the guy that I was sitting next to that I thought was in my seat, he had him a great time. Oh, good. Okay. Bro, good. he was in there. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> it's like, I would have gotten mm, moved. Mm. I would have had to move, too. Yeah, yeah. He, he was doing all the fight scenes, bro. He crazy. <laughs> Yeah, he was. He got scared at some point. Oh shit! Oh, he had a good time. I felt good for him. Maybe he was touched. Not touched. A little bless his heart, actually. Uh Um. All right, so we are moving to the next part of the show. Don't leave anybody. We still got some more show for y'all. We gonna. Uh, uh, I got you, man. Because we gotta play. I forgot. Nick sent in a video. Man, we ain't got time to be doing no damn long. Yeah, it's 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 one minute. Okay. All right. What's going on, Nicky y'all? Nicky do say. Um, yeah, I haven't heard the damn. Yeah, t- Fuck ooh, your whole voice, Nick. He look high, just like he always look. Look at him. Oh, bless him. He just caught a bit of bad. Uh, <laughs> at least rewind it. <laughs> at least rewind it. No, you got to have him on screen Nick, like Nick's that. Nick's so high, he, he just mouthing shit. <laughs> Make sure it's set to go to the TV, too. Because we, uh, we're doing some other stuff in here. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. We still can't hear it. I don't know if they can. I think they can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they can. But we can listen to Nick later. That's well, she need to know what he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not, he not talking to her right now. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> he said Nick looks like he's um, on the run. <laughs> thoughts on Monkey Man. Um, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Uh, Dev Patel, I think oh, we're starting to see him grow more and more as a, just an overall entertainer since he's directing now. I like the story. I thought the action was really good. Um, but particularly with the story, I like how it wasn't just an action movie. Like, there was actually something that he wanted to say. It kind of felt like he had, like, a mix of, like, a modern-day gladiator mixed with uh, John Wick, of course. And they even referenced John Wick in the movie. So it's just kind of like you could tell, like, he was riding that action way, but he wanted to do it in his way. Um, and I mentioned the gladiator notes just because of, like you got to see like the people in this world as well, like how the high class, the middle class, low class, all types of levels. And I like how he made that, he wove that into the story really well, even if even if it was just about like a revenge story at the end of the day. But yeah, the acting was good. Um, he did a great job, but I liked how he let other people cook too. Um, Directing style, I thought that was really unique. His perspective, how he would go from like. POV to like more just like a wide shot. I like that. Um, so I'm fucking with it. Uh, it's not the it's not better than Beekeeper. I'll say that though. Beekeeper, my wife, be that my, that's the double one action movie for me. But it's up there. I fuck with it. Yeah. Big game, we talk that. Made a path, we walk that. Skills match, streets got a bag, that's a real win. Never lost that, this dead in gaming. Game, game. 
you know how we do. BZ and the granddad, that's player one, that's player two. No, we gon' talk about it. Review, we gon' talk about it. PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, we gon' talk about it. Can't forget that PC, best around this web B. Special guest from out of left for right about that family tree, we got it. Got it. Sonic's traveling real fast. Leveled up, but we the final boss. So I also go with this podcast. It's dead in gaming. Finna hit the mark. On point like the sharpest dart. If you tuned in, just know you smart. Press start. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Cook good, though. Um, <laughs> so Nick liked uh, Monkey Man, huh? Yeah, you, y'all two are odd uh, men out. I thought Nick was sending in like a nay farewell, yeah, not a I did monkey too. man. That's cool. I'm sorry, nay. <laughs> he looked like good. he was about to go start fighting himself. We he still did. gotta shoot like anyway. He was we're shooting be boxing or whatever. Oh yeah, for those of you who are patrons, um, Nick something. and I will be doing our last Ratchet Watchable. We're shooting it this week, and we'll be out. I don't know when it'll be out, but we still got some episodes for you guys coming. Yeah. This movie we got Kurt Franklin. Come on, man. We fall down, but we get up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's called Cut a Kirk I have no clue. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm done. Uh, the, what's next is we're going to run through a couple things with Nay before we let her leave. Um, <laughs> the first thing we're going to talk about is uh, what has been your top five movies oh. of 2024 so far? Well, it's not top five movies. It's the top five things mm, okay. that I've watched because, um, uh, yeah, so... Uh, let me find it. What was my number? Oh, so at number five. You can run through them, and then I'm gonna I can just run through them? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, at number five, I have, um, for those of you who really know me, you know that I am a Peanuts fan. So welcome home, Franklin. That came on a Apple uh, TV. Uh, I enjoyed that. Um, at number four, I had Origin. Um, yeah, Origin was my number four. At number three was the Vince Staples show. Hmm. Uh, at number two... And I know we got to review this later. If I had done this uh, today, it probably wouldn't be on here. But uh, X-Men 97 was at number two. It at least would have dropped a couple of episodes. And then at number one was Dune 2. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Oh, have- and then an honorable mention. I have an honorable mention. Um, if, especially for those of you with kids on Disney+, Plus, it's a, a limited series cartoon. A, Iwaju. Oh, you I started think it's watching it? I did. I finished oh. it. Uh, it's so cute. It's like um, set in futuristic Nigeria. It's almost like um, if like Black Panther was like a whole community and this kid and this scientist who creates this robotic lizard that protects his daughter. It's really cute. Mm-hmm. An African lizard? Yes. Does a, does a lizard have a name? Like, is it like a real Oten. African? Oh, mm-hmm. interesting. Okay. All right. Do you want to, are there any other shows outside of that? Shows or movies that you want to give uh, recommendations to for the folks that know what you like? Um, I said Uwaju. Um, I started watching. So um, Spike is has has um, has inspired me to start getting into more white shit. And I started <laughs> watching um, Apples Don't Fall, which is a little is just kind of interesting. Ooh. That's far I'm on like episode two. The stuff it was like little monologues from Annette Benning that was floating around, and I was like, let me check this out. That's so with Alison Brie, right? Yes. Is it good? I, like I said, I'm on episode two, but okay. it's interesting enough. It's interesting enough to keep to to keep me going in. Um, what else? Honestly, I haven't really been watching a whole lot. So, yeah, that's all I got. Anything like just overall that you want to recommend that we never review? Oh. Are, are you, is there something that you, you guys no. have in mind? No, just like favorites. <laughs> no, y'all know I like Abbott Elementary. Hmm. Um, this season has started off, um, a couple of episodes behind, but I've been watching that. Um, no, I will say that there are things that I'm looking what's forward going on, y'all? to. It's I am looking Nick. forward to. Um, hey, Nick. Looking forward to. What's going um, on, y'all? It's your boy Nick. Um, to House of the Dragon coming. I am looking forward to that. Um, that's all I got. Oh yeah, you're not gonna be on House of the Dragon. So I may, Damn. I may, I may pop in. I was okay. gonna ask y'all to leave me a seat open. Mm. Oh, sorry. You ruin everything. I'm so. I didn't. What? 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 what I, know? Okay. Uh-huh, okay. I was gonna ask you that after this. I oh. feel like it would be a really dope surprise, but you, you know. Oh. Let's see. But well, she said she don't know. Let me produce the goddamn show. Sure, sure. I don't come up on that and tell you what to do. I didn't. I didn't know you were going. Like you should have told me before didn't. the show. <laughs> <laughs> you should have put it in the notes. Right. Should have put it in the notes. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Do you have any um 
Do you have any roses you want to leave us I with? I do have roses. Are they going to be on the screen, Jalen, or do I need to go to my phone? No, no, they'll be on the screen. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, my ahead, first rose is, who's my first rose that you got? Who it is? All right, yeah, so Bushy Do Block, I think. Yeah, um, a Monkey Man review and Nate's farewell on my birthday. I'm excited and sad at the same time. I wanted to give you a, a shout out, happy birthday, um, and thank you for the love. Next, we have, um, yeah, hitter? so the Jerick. What in the? <laughs> oh. oh, this is I what thought he... that was a rose, bro. It, it, I'm not giving you a rose. I had your back, Rob. We're going to jump <laughs> on <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah. What kind of rose is this? It's a feature rose. A rose with a big ass thorn. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Well, listen, I see possibility 9631. Has anybody watched the first episode of the Jared Carmichael reality show? I heard somebody so, talking about this man, show. Man, listen. Y'all heard about the show? The only I've thing I've seen is a, is a scene the, with Tyler. Tyler floating yeah, around. Yeah, that's so, what I was talking about. Um, he is like awkward fucking at every, best. Oh, um, he's mm. very awkward. Well, I'm just saying, like, he... So, the awkwardness of that scene is, like, essentially him. So, if you watched mm. the Rothaniel... Um, if you watched the Rothaniel special that he did, like, imagine that with actual scenes of what he's talking about in his comedy specials. So, yeah, it's just, he is very um, transparent. Shout out to him, but I don't think I'll be um, following up with the second episode. Ooh, did I don't... any of y'all watch the Carmichael show? No. I did not. I could not get into it. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, do we, do we, y'all know any black people that watch this show? I did, so I guess... Yeah, I know some black. people. Mm -hmm. Spike don't count. It's close yeah. to white. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. He thought it was a white show. <laughs> he did. Carmichael. Hey, okay. Like, Why right? this nigga here? <laughs> I got one more. Got two more. Two more. Okay. So yeah, uh, Lamel Lagoon says I binge watched this show, Rami, um, this mm. weekend, and it was really good. Right now it's Ramadan, and I recommend this to anyone that would be interested in a story about Muslim American family. I appreciated how this show can bring up very risky topics. I feel like in the Muslim community, we might be too hesitant to talk about. As a Muslim, I feel a lot of shame sometimes when I have to compromise my faith with living in this country and watching. Watching this show makes me feel less alone and reminds me that we all go through it. I also love how this show has a character who has a disability, and boy, this show it does not hold back. This show kind of reminds me of Atlanta, but without the surrealism, it has a lot more balls. Also, Mahershala Ali is in season two, and my only complaint is that I wish he turned Muhammad, it turned into Muhammad Ali in the season finale. Um, so yeah, that made me interested to watch it. You've seen it, Mike? No, I, I, it's on my list that I keep on my laptop of things to watch okay because i've heard it's excellent mm. really i don't think i was doing that last one Damn. Uh, uh, that was the excellent one, right uh, that was the wrong one i gave you the wrong one Oh, no, that is the last one. That's right. My featured rose. Thank you. Uh, so to Lint V. Martinez, I hope Nay is doing well. I stopped listening Aww. because I had a crazy year and just started getting back into the pod. My favorite moment is when the hereditary review, when she talked about Tony Collette floating away on the wall, and they said, listen, this bitch scared the dog shit out of me. During the review, I howled. That shit spoke <laughs> to me, to my soul when I saw it the first time, and they described it exactly how I felt. It was everything. I hope everything is going well. We will miss you and hope you return, only if it's only if you're fully comfortable with it. Love you, Nay, for all the laughs and inquisitive breakdowns you gave to our gave to our favorite moments in media sincerely a cinema stud um i thank you for that i am well i wanted to do this one one because i thought it was really sweet and two it gave me an opportunity to give you guys a little update on why i'm stepping down right Dang. because that was one of the things i saw a lot of comments from you guys in the reddit like what's up hope you're good i am fine um as of january of this year, I became a student again. I am back in school. Um, I am going back for a bachelor's that I never finished as a kid, and it's a 20 year goal, <laughs> a 20 plus year goal of mine that has finally come to fruition. And especially this particular quarter, I am a full time student, a full time employee, a full time mama. I'm full time everything, and I can't be full time here. Damn. So um, it's something that's really important to me, and I don't wanna fuck it up. And I'm kind of fucking it up right now because I need to get my schedule together. So I need to step down and allow the time that I spend watching all of these television shows on actually doing and homework. <laughs> and movies on actually doing homework. That's why I don't really have very much to suggest or anything that I'm watching outside of what we have going on here because I don't really have time. So that's why I say it's not to say that I'm done done. Hopefully, you know, as things get a little bit more easier for me, I'm able to, you know, pop back in 
do a House of the Dragon, do a show here and there because I might actually be watching it. Um, but I just don't have the time to uh, to be obligated to watch this much stuff on a weekly basis. Sorry. So, um, but yeah, thanks for asking. I'm good, guys. Cool. <laughs> you think she's going to finish that fast? <laughs> <laughs> ah. All right. So the last part. Oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. There's one more part. It's one more part. Mm -hmm. what's, what's that part? Give me three of your favorite moments from FBS. Oh, Just three. Fuck. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. Why didn't y'all give me time to prepare for this? I didn't do this. Home. I didn't get this. <laughs> oh, I was not. Again, you're doing I'm not doing homework. my homework. Anyway. Right. You're doing concentrating um, on real homework. <laughs> I do, did enjoy, and I know a lot of people tend to refer to um, like the breakdown I did, uh, Game of Thrones. That was a fun um, moment, um, my little ghetto breakdown. Um, I did really enjoy a lot of the banter and the back and forth we would do on with Insecure. Mm. Um, Insecure were fun episodes. And then House of the Dragon reviews were really classics. fun. Classics. Um, those are classics. So mm -hmm. yeah, those are my three. Um, my Game of Thrones recap, House of the Dragon, and Insecure reviews. All right, so um, that's it for uh, for Nay. But we're gonna get into some super chats. Thank you to everybody that has sent one in. We really appreciate it. Y'all showed up for Nay, which I'm sure she appreciates. Um, Rod is leaving, so sorry, you know he doesn't give a fuck about back. this show. Um, Ken, you want to go ahead and? Yeah, 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 yeah. I get into him. Let me. Uh... Oh, I'm wait before I go. Well, uh, before yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, and I was, I was, stalling. <laughs> I was stalling. Oh, corny ass. <laughs> Oh, thank you for thank you, guys. Gave us some real roses. You get it? Oh, you get it? I know this from you. Thank you. Oh, look at yeah, I know it's from you. <laughs> oh, thank you, babe. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Fun fact also about today is today I, is the day I like this date is when I proposed to Nay. Really? April seventh. Oh, happy 7th. anniversary. <laughs> Did I didn't you realize, realize that? That's dope. I didn't realize this was happening on that day until like, oh, uh, I want to say about a week ago. I was like, hold on, dang, that's the same day. Like, dang, that's crazy. So yeah, it's the same day, just as a fun fact. That's mm. dope. Or whatever. So you know, the roses have two meanings. These Thank motherfuckers you. ask from all of us. That is not. That is Ross. No. No. <laughs> y'all stop. The table. The okay, table. Those are from The table Thank is from you. everyone. That's those funny. are from me. That's dope, mm. man. Yeah, yeah. But before we move into super chats. Somebody brought up my favorite uh, FPS name moment that I swear to God, I love you, B. I promise I do. <laughs> Every single time I see B, all I hear is, oh. he looked like that nigga from What If? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I promise y'all, that was the funniest shit that she's ever said on this show. Especially because she was trying to get us to stop laughing. Yeah, because I then, wasn't meaning it, it like that. that but yes, you did. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, my God. Every time I see B, I think about it. That's I crazy. Don't, I, I don't want to say it, but oh, my God, that shit was so funny. Anyway, all right, that's it. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jonathan Hernandez. Uh, hey, everyone. I've been wanting to send a bracket for this channel. Is there oh, a certain man. format of bracket you guys want? How are brackets sent to you? I want to send an MCU bracket versus Deadpool 3. Before Deadpool 3. Oh. God damn. <laughs> you Floyd Mayweather ass. Oh. <laughs> Where you see a V, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? When I tell you, I was so confused. I was like, how is that a versus? <laughs> what the Jeez. hell? That okay. would actually be fun, an MCU bracket. I don't think we've. Yeah, man, work that up. Yeah, uh, that would be really fun. Let's see, where do we want this to be sent to? Our email address is long. Uh, do we have that on the? Hold on, let me see. Check the channel. Let's see here. Let's see. I think we might have our email in the channel somewhere. Uh, well, shout out to Black Soap for bringing up the what if thing because I think I would have forgot about that. Mm. <laughs> or you can just shoot us a, like a DM on uh, IG, or if you're a patron, you can send us something there. Um, or um, Twitter, you know, Facebook, wherever, you know, we can get it there. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that would be fun. That would be fun. Uh, Rob, nay, admit you wrote Rod's Nowhere to Turn verse. 
<laughs> Roderick worked so hard on that. I will absolutely not do that because that is not the case. <laughs> uh, Area 51 escapee. Mike, what are your thoughts on the Acolyte trailer? I thought it was underwhelming. Oh, you're tripping. You're tripping hard. You tripped so hard you didn't bust your head open. <laughs> no, that trailer looks fucking great. I cannot wait for this show, even though I'm sure it's going to be whack. But I'm going to still watch it. But no, it looks, it looks good. Yeah, yeah. You still messing with Bad Batch? I'll, I'll if they don't get four. to the motherfucking point. They always do that. But though. I'm tired, bro. I'm tired. <laughs> okay? Y'all doing the same shit over again. I'm tired. Well, it's the last season. Yeah, it needs to be. Yeah. Uh, Rob Costa, top of the afternoon, everyone. Mm-hmm. Nay, is it true that Rod doesn't greet his family with hugs, but instead by throwing up the rock? <laughs> by the way, we're all gonna miss you. Thank you, Nay. <laughs> That's wild as hell. That's wild as hell. I'm gonna too. miss Rob Costa. Oh. <laughs> that's 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 wild. Yeah, that's funny. Um, Black Roz, happy Nay Day. <laughs> Name mm-hmm. a movie you loved at the theater but never rewatched it. <clears throat> hmm. I feel like there's a lot actually. It's it's usually a movie that had like a like a big reveal at the end because it's like once it's revealed, it's like why do, why do I need to watch it again unless it's stuff inside of it that I just missed. Mm. But yeah, it's usually mm. most films I think that I don't really rewatch like that. Yeah, I'm trying Honestly. to think of. I can't think of one specifically right now though. The whale. Mm. I really liked it in the theater, and I mm. thought once it started streaming, I would watch it again. I didn't, and I don't have a desire to. I think it's almost like too emotionally draining. I agree. I haven't, I haven't rewatched that either, and I don't want to. I don't think I've rewatched uh, the night night. What was it? Green Night. No, I haven't rewatched that either. The, I wanted to, but I didn't. The one with the scars guard. The oh, Eggers film. Um, Northman. Northman. Yeah. I don't think I've rewatched that either. I like. Brightburn, but I haven't rewatched that. Mm. You saw it in the theater? I think I did. Hell Wait, no. did I? Sure, I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to play the game. Mm. Um, but I can't remember any. Um, all right, moving on. Uh, Area 51 Escapee. One's, one got to go post apocalyptic movies. 28 mm. Days Later, The Road, Children of Men, Mad Max, Fury Road. That was Children easy. of Men. I, haven't, I don't think I saw that. Oh. But who was in that? Uh, what's the white chick, Spike? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the irony. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, you've seen Children of Men, I bet. I, what the fuck is her name? It's not Julia Roberts, but it's the one that I always get confused with Julia Roberts. Children of Men is amazing, but if is you it? haven't seen it, you should see it. Julianne Moore, thank you. That's you her. You get them confused? I get them confused mm. all day long. They're both redheads, I guess. Yes. Yeah, that movie is great, but Fury Road can get the fuck out of here. I love that movie, but that's not competing with those other three. That's the newest one, right? Well, well one of the yeah. newest ones. It is that's the newest the one. one. The one with it's Charlie another one coming right? out, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of that either. I wasn't either. I haven't seen Children of Men, so. Yeah. Y'all will definitely like Children of Men. It's mm-hmm. really fucking good. Yeah. Wait, did y'all pick? I, I'm uh, saying mad. I'm saying mad. Saying mad, mad, mad? Even though I haven't seen two of those, I don't remember The Road. Oh, what was man. the road? The road. Um, I read that book. Um, it's a Cormac McCarthy oh, I never, book. I never watched the movie. I never no. watched the movie. I saw. Mm-hmm. I, I wanted to watch the movie. I just never did. It's really. But it looks like it's good. It's so mm-hmm. it is. I still pick and mm-hmm. I, I wanted to watch the movie. I just never did. It's really. But it looks like it's good. It's so mm-hmm. it is. I still pick and Max. Very yeah, I haven't seen Children of Men, but I, your your opinion holds enough weight for me. Where I'll say Max. Uh-huh. That's cool. I mean, because I did <laughs> see that, and I, I yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, Slory, uh, y'all seen West Indies Slaves of Liberty, 1979? No. What the fuck is that? Um, I'd assume it's a movie, guys. West Indies Slaves of Liberty. It doesn't even sound good. Sorry. It's from 79. It's some old, um, some, it's another movie. It's older. It came out in the early 80s. It's Daughters of Something that I, I keep seeing pop up. I want to watch. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I'll give that a look. I haven't, but I'll I'll watch it if you say it's good. Why? You don't even know him. <laughs> I, I know. I don't ask like, yeah. Is it a slave movie? I don't like. I think yeah, I've seen it. It's a 1979 Algerian. I'm not even gonna. I don't know that second word. Mm-hmm. French language drama 
directed by Med Hondo. Oh, it's it's in subtitles. That's and they didn't say it was good, but I haven't yeah. seen it. But I'll it's adapted it. from a novel called Les Negriers, which means the slavers. Mm. Mm. So okay. subtitles and slavery? No, y'all let me know. I'm straight. I'll let you know. I'm super straight. <laughs> There's two uh, things I don't know. Your mama's tripping. Mm. Who's tripping? <laughs> Not you. I'm talking oh. about him. All right, slower. Uh, Ken, why did you give No Country for Old Men and Doom two stars on Letterbox? This is why you don't want them to get your profile on Letterbox because if you rate shit and you <laughs> all in it, like I, I don't want them questions. I'm not going to give them my profile. Uh, uh, you a, gave it a two? I don't care. You out your damn mind. That which, might be your worst take of this which entire one? 13 years. Which movie? Oh. Both of them are terrible takes. No. Pick no, one. No. How do you give No Country for Old Men a two? It's two out of five. This needs to be no show for old men and kick you off. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. I cannot believe a two? That's crazy. What well, should it get a three? Pick What's me. up? I want to go back. You asked, uh, Y'all asked me if I had any suggestions or anything that I recommend that I watch. And I do watch animes now. And so um, I finished Death Note. It was right. fucking amazing. All right. My life is forever changed. All right. The movie, I couldn't finish it. Um, oh, the yeah. live action one? Yeah, with oh, the terrible. Oh, my God. It's terrible. On today. Um, and then, Mike, I watched Blue, Perfect Blue. Oh, Perfect Blue. Did you like it? I watched Perfect Blue. I did. That movie's so good. It's so different. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. It was so different. So, yeah, please continue to give me anime suggestions on Reddit or wherever. I'll still check it. But, yeah, give me anime suggestions because I do still enjoy those. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that movie was all right. Goddamn Overrated. Uh, Manasse. We, I will miss you, Nay. You Good said in an earlier review that you think Scorsese is the most overrated director. Mm. I want to know why you think that. Because his shit is boring. Oh, mm. man. And the period. Oh. Sorry. Dang. I hope you get another question. Yeah, hurry up, Ken. <laughs> uh, Talon. Uh, Nay, there's a movie called Rocks okay. about a black okay. teen girl <laughs> trying to find her missing mother while taking care of her baby brother. Things of female friendship. Found family, etc. You may like it. Sounds Interesting. Lame. That sounds up up my alley. Okay. All right. I don't think that's enough to erase the Scorsese. So mm -hmm. get else. Well, like, okay. But like, <laughs> no, let's. So, what, what what are we talking about here, guys? Like, Casino. We're talking about Departed. Nigga, so? Like, what? Nigga, so? Departed was what? the best thing that I think I've seen of his. You didn't like Casino? Oh, it's just God. way too long for no apparent reason to me. I'm sorry. Like, I've tried to watch it. Sorry, Spike. I see your face. <laughs> I've tried to watch this movie multiple times. I just, it's just, okay. Say, like, Damn. Cape Fear, I, Taxi Driver? No care, don't care. Oh, my God. Wait, give have it you it seen what? Taxi Driver? I, put, I played it for her. She probably fell asleep. I probably did. You talking to me? Irish right. man. You talking to me? He, did he do good, fellas? No. No, yeah. That's uh, Coppola, isn't it? No. Who's, who's good, fellas, Spike? Who's good? Let's go say too. Scorsese? Okay. Yeah. It Bro. was Scorsese? Yeah. Okay. okay, so we got good fellas, we got departed. Okay. You can keep that Irishman shit. You can Irishman is later, but go you ahead. can take Killers of the Flower Moon and put it all the way up your ass. <laughs> I kinda feel you on uh, that. Uh like, okay, what else we got? Taxi driver. Color of money, last temptation of Christ. Nigga soul, nigga soul, nigga soul. She's already she's Irishman. She's sitting she like Irishman. Go ahead, keep going. That, that's no, it. That's that it. Period. Gangs in New York. Nigga, so uh, did you watch Gangs of New York? I've Girl? seen it. <sighs> yes, I don't care. Mm. This is crazy. Have you seen Shutter Island? Yes, it was intriguing, but not enough. Sorry. But think about that range, though. Offense. It's all white people problems. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> 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 Wait, you agree? What? What? I'm, I'm in the middle. Nah, you clap real he hard was. like you agree. I, 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 I agree with the white people problems. Like sometimes I just like I'm tired. Then he did the Wolf of Wall Street too. Wolf of Wall Street was cool. No, you can have Wolf of Wall Street. All it was day. entertaining enough, but mm. I mean, it's not like for me to be like, oh, this guy is the best director ever. Oh, yeah, Raging oh, Bull. My God. I don't That's give crazy. a fuck about Raging it. Raging Bull was good too. Jeez. The best thing he did was give us uh, Robert De Niro. What? We ain't listening to Rob Costa or you for, for that matter. What Rob Costa say? He just he said it was a range of nap time. Mm. Oh man! All right, yeah, well, move along, bro. I last. I didn't uh, ask. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Green, I've been watching a little while now. You all are getting better and better. Thank you. 
Brock, uh, get in touch with the publicist to talk to actors. They'll say yes. What are we talking about? What are you talking about? Uh, Interviews, probably. Uh, oh, um, yeah. I, I, I believe that, too. I don't want to interview any actors. I believe that, too. Yeah, I believe that, too. I think they would. I think they would come on. They, they look for any opportunity to promote. Who y'all trying to talk to? Just anybody. Unless it's me or God, I don't care. <laughs> or Tracy Ellis Ross. I, think, I, I do think we're missing the mark on that. We should be reaching out to people. What? Yeah. I think that'd be cool. Uh, Mike, what would you rate Robert Altman's Nashville? I don't know what you're talking about. Is that a movie, a show, a, a song, an album? <laughs> Who the hell is Robert Altman? I don't know. You asking me? And I think that question really. came from like how we knew James A. Caster from Ghostbusters. Well, that's the homie, though. But he, we, we know him from rap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Robert All right. Well, while you look that up, uh, Area 51 Escapee, are there any video games that any of you played growing up that you would like to see made into a live action show? For me, it's Doom or Quake. <laughs> Contra. Have they did Contra yet? I Contra they did Doom already. Huh? Contra they did Doom already. Contra is, yeah. They need to do Contra. I don't know what they waiting on with that. I mean, it would just be a... a War movie kind of. So, I just want to see him get that bro, spreader gun, bro. <laughs> come on, Contra, bro. Man, mm. Contra would be such a good movie. I, I, I'm telling you, it would, especially get the right actors and well, stuff. People would run to the movie, for, mm. to the movies for that. I think I go, I go watch Contra. It's such an yeah. iconic game. Like yeah, I, I think people would Contra. run to the yeah, movies. Yeah, but it's an iconic story plot to the game, though. They have no, to write one. There's not a story, I don't think. Yeah, it's not really. It's just some aliens. They, they have can to make, make one. one. They have to make one. Yeah, yeah, they can make one. I looked this dude up. I don't know shit. I know Popeye. That's the only <laughs> movie I know that this fool did. I don't know none of these other films. So I don't know. No, no offense, of course. But I don't know why you thought I would just know whatever this movie was that you brought up. So I'm sorry. I don't know this guy's work at all. So. I'm trying to think of the other video games I played. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Ooh, Gaiden that's would be a good. Because it had a deep story. Like it was a whole ass story with Ninja Gaiden. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Duck Hunt. I don't know. <laughs> she said Duck Hunt. <laughs> what the hell kind of movie is that? Yo. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Okay. Uh, there is a lot of games that I think yeah. could be successful as yep. movies, though. Yep. Um, let's see. Double. They did Double Dragon already? I think they did I do don't a think Double they Dragon did. something. Double, did they? I thought they it did, was I something. I didn't see it. Huh. Um, maybe they could do something with, like, Metroid. Metro would be cool. I'm surprised too. they haven't done something yeah. with Metro. Yeah, yeah good sci fi story. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Uh, where are we at? Um, the Beans. Just want to thank Nay for all the FPS memories. Aww. Thank you. Uh, Guadalupe. Uh, thank you, Nay, for everything you've done for FPS and the Danny community. You've given us many great moments over the years, made us laugh, and given great insight. And to all the shows and movies you, you've reviewed, you will be missed. Aww. Thank you, Guadalupe. That's a solid Aww. comment from him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no D's nuts. Right. <laughs> it was not written in cold. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, maybe it is. We'll have to find it later. Right. Yeah, every other letter. I think you get a pretty good donation, so mm -hmm. we appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Michael Green, I want Nate to know that she has to come back on Nay. On, on Nay, your opinions are integral to the vibe of this show. Plus, you're willing to see both sides of an opinion, which is rare and a critic. I'll miss you. You missed, just, just for the record, so y'all know, I, the period too. Go ahead. Yeah, just for the record, I tried to talk <laughs> Nay. <laughs> I tried to talk Nay out of this decision. Like you know, I, I really did. She'll tell you. Like I really was trying to make a case as to why she should stay. But you know, like I understand that you know it's important for her to do what she needs to do. But yeah, I did try, y'all. I tried. I really. I'm did. not long gone. Yeah, I know. But I yeah, I was letting them know I tried. Dang, he didn't try with me. I did. I absolutely did. <laughs> don't even say, don't even lie. How you gonna lie like that? <laughs> That's messed up, you lie like that, man. Cause I did, I did try for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Slowery, what are y'all's top five black <laughs> movies ever? Here are mine. What the hell is, did you do this movie? <laughs> What? West Indies, what? Slaves of Liberty. What? Sorry to bother you. Do the right thing. Hyenas and get out. I don't know hyenas either. Yeah. Those are deep cuts. 
Uh, <laughs> Damn, Jayla. <Jayla's. laughs> that was Spike. That was Spike. <laughs> Oh, Spike. of course you gonna oh, say you know, that. Like Spike it. ain't seen none of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. So, Mar- uh, Malcolm X is definitely gonna be on my list. Like black films, mm-hmm. I don't think it's a black film, but I think a film that I actually I really like that gets really slept on is um, Othello with Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> I know it's not like a black film, uh, but I really like the movie. Um, I don't know. I gotta think about the rest. Is Save the Last Dance on there? Oh, you stupid. <laughs> What? No, it's, it's not. not. I mean, if that's it, I, it's ha, a black ha. film. Ha ha. It's not. No, it's, it's not. It, is it? I mean, if Othello is, then that right. that sure is. I know that's why I was like, ha ha. There you go. Ain't nobody Live entertaining that. It's not. A, uh, Ain't it, nobody it, entertaining it, that. What? Uh, <laughs> you a hater, bro? Um, for me, let's see what. Boys in the Hood. Um, hmm. dang, I just had hmm. a couple in my head. Boys in the Hood. Um. House Party, maybe, maybe House Party, Men's to Society. Jesus, all this violence. What else? I mean, I, I said it all, but, but oh man, what's another one? I had it. I had them. I had to. Let it's me think good. of my other, my other. Uh, other it's ones. a good combo, though. Yeah, it is a good combo. Yes, yeah, yeah, a lot to I think about. Say it is. No, you know what? Yeah, let me let me think about that a little mm-hmm. longer. All right. I think it's I think it's worth having an actual combo about. Top five ooh, ooh, Save the Last Dance was in the hood, so Mike is right. Mm. Boom. Mm. Or like Kendra said, boom. Bop. I can't uh, do that right. <laughs> tweets open doors. What element of movies, TV is most important to your enjoyment? Uh, I.e. actor, script, visuals, etc. Hope Rod snuck one last pickle in peace, nay. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Stupid. I, Spike, I agree. Ah. I think actors... Mm. is important. Yeah, I think actors and script are like interchangeable. I think if you have a really good script, you don't have to have the best actors. I agree. But if you have a really good actors, the script don't have to be super great. Mm-mm. No? Yeah, he doesn't Not for me. Yeah. I, would go, I would go script because I don't really care that much. Like, if it's a bunch of actors I've never seen before, as long as they are passable, if the script is really good, I'm there. But if the actors are incredible and the script is trash, I'm I'm tapping out. I didn't say trash. Which is not that good. <laughs> oh, okay. All like right. you can have a shaky script. Like a script doesn't mm-hmm. have to be impeccable. Yeah. It can be a little shaky. Oh, for the actors, but, it, to still but do the, their perform- thing. the performers mm-hmm. are like amazing. I feel that. I feel like it was something we just that's watched. I was about to say. I can't think of an example. Immaculate. Oh yeah, that's what you just said it about. But you, know, you I, walked I away from the, the film feeling like Sidney Sweeney is a star. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I walked away from the film thinking that film was whack. Because you didn't like the script, the plot. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah. Said, I'm what, proving uh, your point. Yeah, yeah you're proving it. Yeah, well, only for me, not for y'all. No, no, I got not you. Not for y'all. I but. feel like you just said it, and that's what. And when you said Immaculate, that was the one. Because you remember I was saying, well, well, the fact that she put on a good performance yeah. was, was making it pretty passable for me. Yeah, it didn't make it passable for me. It was, yeah. still, it was still whack. But I, I feel what y'all are saying. Yeah. So, I mean. Oops. Oh, Bad shit. directing could take me out. Mm. So even if the script is good, if no, if you don't have the right director for that script, I think they, that can ruin a movie for me. You know, just direction wise. So yeah, nah. That, directing is probably the biggest thing for me, because even with bad actors, a bad script, a director could pull something out of it still. With what you know, kind of work with what he has mm-hmm. in order. You know, budget. Any of that, you know, what I'm saying a good director should be able to still make it a make it a make it appealing, and you know, so yeah. You, you answer? No, let's go. Yeah, I already answered. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> only two more. Can't have you seen the Spooky Sat by the Door? Uh, a movie? That was a book. It, it is a book, movie. but it, they have they have actually made a, <laughs> a, a movie. But huh. no, I've I've actually wanted to watch the movie. Huh. Um, so yeah, I'll um, I definitely want to. I might actually make that a uh, uh, a Patreon solo. How about that? Let's is it a Patreon. newer film or is it old? No, it's like I think it's from the seventies. I didn't know they made that. Mm-hmm. I had to read that book in fucking high school. Hmm. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Why that one? I don't remember. That but it was for like extra credit. Oh, because I think I needed it because I you know I told y'all I failed PE, so I think I needed the credit. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, yeah, but I, I think I'll do that on Patreon. 
Um, and last one, appreciated Birdman at 5 0 with the super duper super sticker. Oh, yeah, dang. Is this yep. the same Birdman that be on Reddit making videos? And so, hey. Probably. I think so, yeah. That's the guy that said, mm-hmm. you want to want to cuss you. I want to cuss you, but I won't. What'd he say? He kept saying, I want to curse you. Oh, yeah, I want to curse. He did. Hey, hey, Birdman, don't curse me. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was funny. It's, it's, it's be, his reactions be funny, though. Mm. Can't believe you came into my life and then just walk out. <laughs> he did say that. <laughs> I want to kiss you. But yeah, uh, and that's it. Here we're all done. We're done here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We are done here. On time. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. We'll let y'all keep going. <laughs> Mike, you feel P.E.? <laughs> you can't fail P. He's just joking. I'm not you joking. Fail I P. failed. You didn't. P. Call, you didn't dress out. I refuse to dress out. Yeah. If you don't dress out, you'll fail. Mm. And then you're like, "Well, you can just go do weight training." I was like, "I'm not doing that either." Oh, why you didn't do the weight training? I didn't want to. It wasn't nobody in there. If you, like, like that's the thing. Like, oh, well, it shouldn't have been in anybody in there. If it was doing PE, if, if you wanted, because people usually choose PE no, over weight training. No, niggas were going there to do weight training. Absolutely. Over PE? Yeah. It was during that. PE. All, all PE was, I, you had to go like, play like sports or weight training. Block in I there. know, but I'm saying, I thought most people played PE and then do the weight training. No, because no. some of the motherfuckers liked to lift that's weights. It was like oh. a mini sale block. I hated it. I was, I'm not doing this. <laughs> So they, he failed me. And yeah, he, said, yeah, oh, he yeah. said, okay, well, you can go write a report. I was like, I'm not doing that either. Yeah. I knew, I knew people that failed PE. They yeah. didn't want to, they didn't, just, just didn't like sports. I was stuff. too pumped for that shit. Bit of a rebel, huh? I just didn't know because the jocks wanted to fucking hurt me. Mm. I played one time <laughs> and they came after me. Luckily, I could run fast. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to close out, Nate, with some, some words or whatever? Rob in the cry. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to say, y'all. I've said, I've said why. Um, <laughs> say bye. Say bye. You said why, so say bye. I said, well, I, thank you guys for all of, okay, so I appreciate all of the commentary, all of the comments, all of the love, all of the um, nice little messages that you guys have sent on Reddit. Um, it has been awesome being a part of that Reddit community. I will still be in there. I'll peruse and see you guys and say hello, and I'm still going to listen and see what the guys are saying about stuff. and probably disagree and things in my in my privacy of my own home um but no thank you guys it's been amazing like i said i'm not gone gone i'll pop back in here and there but you know thanks for all of the love and support that's good yeah um i think that was it I can't believe you did that shit. I mean, we can leave it there, I guess. Really? That's fucked up. Well, hi, everybody. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, we're just wrapping it up and closing it out. So, <laughs> he was like, psych. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an encore, right? <laughs> right. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you, Nate, for your service. Yes. And uh, we appreciate thank all you. of y'all. We miss you. I'm yeah, sorry, I'm de- swerving in. No, 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 I just want to say it real quick. Yeah, uh, it's been a, it's been a thrill. Uh, we would definitely miss you. Um, I love the insight and intelligence that you brought through reviews, but oh, also to yeah. ground that shit and like some real shit as well Damn. to like speak for the people. Thank the you. People need representation. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, we can we can high brow this shit, but let me tell you what the shit really about. Aww. So you know, Damn, well, we, okay, get, get messy. Can't go know. cry in the car. Aww, you know, I haven't you, already Ken. cried. You right. <laughs> you right. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I want to say. Appreciate you. Yep, I said I agree with Ken. Um, yeah, we we're gonna miss that snarky ass, <laughs> <laughs> snarky ass comments. And y'all yeah. can't be saying bitches on here now that I'm gone. Either. <laughs> I don't say bitch anyway. I know y'all don't, but I y'all, don't ain't, y'all ain't gonna have a bitch card no more. Yeah. <laughs> no, you got because she uses it. She throws it out there. She does. I'm not right. Yeah. I'm not getting in yeah. trouble. Damn. That is gonna be missed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Spike said, Damn. To have somebody say that for that mm-hmm. we can't like, say. I was thinking that too. Yeah. <laughs> That's like how we can say nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yep. We can say yep. nigga. I don't say that can, can we say bitch? No. It depends on how you sign it. Okay. All right. All right. But yeah, look, we appreciate everybody coming through. We really, really do. I'm sure, again, um, that Nay appreciates the love that y'all mm-hmm. sent out. Yes. Um, so yeah, thank y'all for coming. We will see y'all next month for another FPS Live. But 
If y'all are not subscribed and you just happen to stumble across this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you're checking out the podcast. We're the only uh, all black uh, review channel like this, right? I okay. guess. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Well, never mind. There's Double Toasted. Shout out to them, too. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So we're one of two. But anyways. All right. We will see y'all later. Y'all have a good one. Hey. Peace. I don't get nothing. I don't get good about- Ha, 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 ha.